and we're live. Hey, everybody. Uh, we just finished talking about something that we will not mention again. <laughs> Uh, but ever. welcome, ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> but uh, welcome to uh, Kids on Bikes uh, by On Roll Twenty, sponsored by Hunter Entertainment. Hey, everybody, have a great. Hope your Monday morning starting off great. Well, actually, Monday in your time zone. I guess if, if you're on, you know, if you're in America, you know, it's around morning time. If you're on the East Coast, kind of late morning. But hope your morning is going well. Um, I'm sure if I'm your GM. Uh, and let's go around and everyone introduce themselves, their characters, uh, pronouns, and how about a, a a fun fact? How about that? Everyone share a fun fact about yourself, about anything that's going on, uh, uh, anything not related to what we just talked about. Uh, and I will start with Noir. <laughs> No! Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Noir. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram as the Noir Nigley. You can find me on TikTok by just dropping the the. Um, uh, today I'm playing Four Man, who's the pl uh, the plastic uh, in, in, and a little bit of a coward, but you know that's that that leaves room for a character arc, maybe some character growth. Uh, and a fun fact about me. Uh, is I don't do roller coasters. I will never get on a roller coaster again. I've been right. on four roller coasters in my life, no more. <laughs> mm. were, 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 were those four? Were, 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 were those four like in the same day? Like you're just, uh, you're no, just fully testing it out. About, uh, one, my <laughs> my mom lied to me on. Two were for girlfriends, and then one was because my mom lied to me again. <laughs> okay, fool Throw your once, mom under though. the bus. Fool you once. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, I, I, I feel you on that. I'm not a huge roller coaster fan, but mm -hmm. I have been on more than four. I will say. No. Uh, I love right. them. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, next up, uh, Marquia. Hey. Okay. So I'm uh, Marquia McCarty. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram uh, at Marquia McCarty. For Twitch, it's Darth Marquia. Facebook, it's Marquia TV. Uh, and uh, I'll be playing uh, Mana Pepperwood, uh, daughter of the mayor of Techburg. She is a uh, goth guru, uh, spiritual DJ in the in training. She's eleven and a half, uh, and uh, yeah, she she believes in spirits and she believes in banishing demons along with um, you know uh, finding her gods through her music. And fun facts uh, about me. Um, okay, uh, this came up uh, earlier when we were doing tech. Um, I have traveled a lot, like a lot. Um, countries that I've lived in, uh, Morocco, uh, Lisbon, Portugal, Road to Spain, uh, West Ryslip, uh, England, uh, uh, the Bahamas for a short while, of course, places in America and also uh, Keflavik, Iceland. And I was looking up pictures of uh, my old, um, well, it was an elementary school slash middle school slash high school. Uh, in it closed in 2006. So I was just like going down memory lane. If you want to see it, it's uh, AT Mahan um, High School in Keflavik, Iceland. So. Fun fact. Wow. Sweet. Awesome. Very cool. Um, next up is Kaylee. Oh, it's me. Hi, everybody. I'm Kaylee Bray. You can find me on Twitter at Hoppa Barbarian. I do lots of stuff on the Twitch. Follow me there uh, to find out where the heck I am on the internet that day. Uh, I am playing Meadow McKinley, the scout. She's very earnest and, um, you know, escaped from probably a, a cult two years ago and is now just trying to live a normal life and maybe win the science fair. I don't know. Um, fun fact. I always do this one. Uh, I survived a knife fight on the New York subway. Did you start said knife fight? I did not start <laughs> the fight. But, but you I finished did, it. But you finished it. I did not finish it. I did my best to stay out of the way of the fight. It was very, very stressful for everybody. Um, but yeah. thanks to my copy of War and Peace that I was reading on the train, I was fine. I think yeah, the most baller one. thing about this is that this is a fun fact for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is fun. Oh, yeah. This is... 
Yeah, but I I can say like the things I I've not been on CTA on the on the Chicago stuff as much as I've been on New York subway since I grew up in New Jersey. But man, the kind of things that you would see and just ignore because you had mm-hmm. your headphones on, or because you were like- just reading a book. Yeah, Jersey's just as bad though. Like just in a different oh, yeah. way. Oh yeah. For oh, sure. I I've been on the path train. That's nonsense. Sure. Oh, straight up. And that was and that was the nice one. Yeah, yeah I oh, used yeah, to work yeah. in Jersey and on Friday nights, by the time we got into New York, you could just see it progressively get rowdier and rowdier. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, good times. Yeah, yeah, I had a couple of times on the uh Jersey Transit on the bus where they would just pull over the bus and say, everybody get out <laughs> because there was some fight or some like, you know, some drug thing or <laughs> something. So yeah, fun times growing up in Jersey in the 80s and 90s. Uh, hopefully it's better now. Uh, I haven't lived there in uh, it's, in, it's in, in, in a little while, but yeah, it's better. Um, all right, and uh, Shu. Hi everyone, my name is Shu. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at hello there Shu. It's spelled X as an X-ray, U as in U-turn because the Chinese people are very tricky like that. Um, my character is Winter Lee. Uh, our pronouns are both she, hers. She is 14 and she just like is a loner weirdo, but like she has a reason for it. And she had to be a transplant here from Orlando. And yeah, even if I don't have friends, who cares? I don't, certainly not me. Um, A fun fact about me is uh, one time I set off, I accidentally set off a bomb squad in the Tokyo airport. Oh, wow. These are fun facts. These are very fun things. (laughs) Now, it was an accident. Now, now was this, now was this in the current climate of, uh, well, actually, I don't know if that climate in Tokyo would be, uh, was, 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 was it in a heightened time? Or was it in a non-heightened time, I guess, is the question. Uh, it was definitely after 9-11. So I okay, would probably well, say so it's like a more heightened yes. time. But <laughs> yeah. what had happened is I just like forgot my bag. Um, but the bag uh, was like kind of like red and weird and boxy or something like that. So by the time that we were like literally uh, about to get past the gate agent, I told my parents, I was like, hey, I totally forgot like I, uh, my bag and my mom went downstairs and she said that they had roped off the entire area there were dogs sniffing and she and she had to speak like to someone who spoke in of course like flawless english Uh, just this woman just being like do you know what's in this bag and my mom was just like like losing her mind thinking like we were in huge trouble so she just opens the bag and she pulls out a book of poetry and a pair of high heels (laughs) and everyone was like oops and yeah, so she brought the bag up to me and she was like, we are not talking about this. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been some fun, uh, well, not fun, I guess, but airport. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you, y'all, uh, having, having a Muslim name like Sharif and living in New Jersey, so flying out of Newark Airport uh, oh. uh, every week for work because I was like a consultant at the time, oh, so I was God. flying. So you would think they would be used to me, but uh, flying... Mm-hmm. Right after 9-11, every week out of Newark. Not a fun time, y'all. Not, not a fun time. Uh, the butthole yeah, so, uh, of airports in the tri-state yeah, area. It is. I like it better than LaGuardia. I was going to uh, say it's better than LaGuardia. <laughs> the worst airport How? in any big city. Uh, it uh, is like an airport from the 1950s that was never upgraded. Uh, there's some charm in there you know you're seeing the same cracks that were there as your grandparents and i think that's beautiful to have in an airport <laughs> is the, the charm century. next to the pigeons that are trapped in the <laughs> is that yeah. where the charm oh, is so many birds there were there's so, so many, many birds, birds yeah, I, I, I am not a i'm not a fan of LaGuardia. um but uh yeah, so uh, I guess fun fact about me. Um, oh, yeah, so, so I'm Trey from Jam. Uh, he, him. Uh, and my fun fact um, is that uh, I, I guess I can, uh, I probably should have thought of mine while y'all were giving yours. Um, okay, a fun fact of mine um, is that I I recorded a... I recorded a hip hop album in the same studio that uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony uh, recorded uh, uh, some of their uh, hits in Cleveland uh, when I was well, there. That's for the cut. 
What? That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, that's, that's a fun thing. I almost committed like international terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> different yeah, 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 no, you're like almost on the no fly list. Uh, you know. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. Um, yeah. Uh, so, man, Crossroads was, uh, I, you know, I, I, it took me a while to warm up to Bone Thugs. I'm not going to lie. I definitely had that like East Coast bias when it came out where I was like, what is this? Uh, like, uh, this, like, uh, this, 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 like, this isn't hip hop. It's not Rakim, Karis one. And, like, whatever. Those can't be of, harmonizing. Uh, I was I was definitely one of those like hip hop heads back in the day. I can't even lie. I was definitely one of those like total like New York hip hop or nothing else kind of pe- person. But um, man, like they just won me over. Like, like it, it was so like after a couple of songs, I was like, "Yo, this is good. I can't front, man." So uh, um, shout out to Bone Thugs, man. Um, it feels early. I didn't think I'd ever say that on Kids on Bikes. But shout out to Bone Thugs. Um, yeah, we're in the '90s, so it makes sense. I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So what? Yeah. So why don't we um, why don't we do a little bit of a recap, y'all? Why don't we see what what happened last episode and what uh, what y'all remember from last episode? I will I will fill us in as appropriate, of course. Um, who wants to start with uh, what their character went through uh, in our first episode? Or I could choose. I, I yeah. I, I'll 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 step up. Um, so, uh, today was the first, today we were going, was this like the first day of class, I believe this was? Uh, I'm, it I'm was, failing miserably I I, off the start. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I mentioned it was the first day, but it was, it was a day. It was a, right. a regular summer. So, it, it was, it was like a warm day. Right. So I we guess were, not in the middle of summer, but. So we were going to class, right? And everybody, uh, everybody was outside of the class. Uh, you know, the school is kind of blocked off because apparently there was some shenan- shenaniganery about where we couldn't go in. Um, for so, uh, the superintendent, you know, getting all up in one of the students' faces and being the heroic good guy that he is. He was just like, hey, what's going on? I'll help you out. Uh, uh, you know, Metal had a plant. Or, or something that uh, that he was really worried about. So Four snuck inside to go check on the plant. Uh, uh, Four isn't aware of this, but uh, Mana saw the conversation and is very concerned about the duality of Four and uh, decided mm. that they should probably follow up on that. Uh, which honestly was a good call because he forgot the instructions to the bio lab <laughs> halfway to the door. <laughs> um uh, Winter also went inside because uh, what we learned about Winter last uh, episode is uh, Winter don't take no guff from nobody. <laughs> so they told they uh, the school told Winter not to go in, and Winter uh, decided that um, you're not my real dad. It decided to go in uh, anyway, uh, and that's where the spooky spooky stuff started to occur. Um, uh, the cool principal. Uh, was yeah, also uh, also went into the school with us, uh, and there we saw the superintendent that we just passed outside, mm-hmm. which was full of nope vibes. So, four uh, made a tactical move <laughs> to go into <laughs> a classroom to avoid further conflict. Um, tactical move, I like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's yeah. a ooh. yeah, that's that's how that worked out. Tactically <laughs> abandoning <laughs> choice. Um, the <laughs> oldest and the strongest. <laughs> Excuse me, I I thought I was recapping the story here. What's going mm-hmm. on? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, four took the tactical maneuver of going into the classroom. Uh, Amanda decided uh, to combat this spooky superintendent doppelganger head on with salt and in doing so revealed like a translucent kind of nature to the superintendent uh that's when they all decided that oh we understand force tactical maneuver now uh and they all (laughs) joined for in the classroom that he was fortifying (laughs) um (laughs) 
mortifying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, that's, that's how we're telling the story. Um, uh, uh, mortifying <laughs> with his body in the window. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Marquee, I'm telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe turn this car around. <laughs> so while they were all uh, coming up with a plan of attack in the fortified classroom, uh, a a hand had a note pressed against the glass of the door that says "Some spooky nonsense." Uh, at which Kate, at which time, uh, shoes dog barked. It scared the life out of all of us. <laughs> I can't remember what it True. said because my heart was in my butthole. So, <laughs> so that's that's basically where we left off with the spooky note. Uh, also, four tried to take another tactical maneuver out the window, yes. <laughs> um, uh, and somehow spooky put him back in the room. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. But that's something that we learned because of Force bravery. So that's oh, that's, that's, that's that is true. You wow. were was just testing it out. Wow. Like a four was like I, you know, <laughs> I did not think about it that way as we were playing. But First the last time nightmare. I'm allowed to do recaps, y'all. <laughs> no, we're all the hero of our own story. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Uh, no spin and, and, zone. And, and, <laughs> yeah, no, we're in the spin zone. Uh, and, anyone else want to add or append anything to that or correct some things? That, uh, correct. <laughs> we, I think, the I totally... note said avoid the bio lab before yes. trailing off in a very horrifying way. Um, for some well, it, possibly it's... supernatural hieroglyphic like things and even yep. though uh winter's life goal is to bully felix into the ground <laughs> i did feel a little bad Cause yeah so lost felix he yeah, yeah he so oh yeah he did get yanked. Yeah, yeah so so, so the note said avoid the lab and then it said mary is and then it went off into the symbols and mm-hmm. you heard felix call the superintendent mary when you were in the hall so mary is the name of the superintendent um, so he was trying to share some kind of note, as I mentioned, uh, lost, not Penny's boat style, uh, on the, on the, uh, on the window. Um, and then we saw some, uh, tentacles, uh, wrap around, uh, Oh, I forgot about the tentacles. Oh, the tentacles. Uh, I was oh, very yeah. focused on it. Oh yeah. Yank him out of frame. It, yep. I think, and, I think Mana was convinced that he was possessed. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then he got yanked away. Um, we don't know if he's dead though, you know. We 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 don't know that. We just know he got yanked away. That's all. Um and a couple other things. Uh so uh Coach D uh came up to Mana trying to get her to uh talk to her mom about uh starting up this rest- citywide wrestling uh you know initiative where he get it get get his old like Olympic friends back and they kind of you know have this thing. Um, so he's trying to get get that, uh, you know, try to get uh, Mana to, you know, get, get her mom to uh, agree with that. Um, the way Winter got got into the school was that Felix uh, tried to basically uh, get some uh, T Bergen, uh, some uh, you know, to like relate to her and uh, show her. Yeah, yeah. He promised like a, to show me a miniature Eiffel Tower because yes. he understood my interest in friends' existentialism, and also because I really like miniatures. It's like a thing. Oh, sweet! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah. It was a cool episode. Also, we we saw everybody's like uh, parents. We saw the morning routines of like everybody, like how they got ready for school and kind of like the relationship uh, with those uh, parents. Um, that will definitely uh, come into play. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, that that was a great thing as well. Um, I love how uh, critical misses in the chat. So you're doing like a Michael Pena from uh, Ant Man like recap of, uh, <laughs> of stuff, like a Lewis recap, which is great. Um, uh, great. So um, anything else? Anybody want to hop in before we get started about what happened or w- what your character went through? I just I would, I just want to know where Shoes Dog is so I can prepare. Myself. <laughs> she is in a different room, but there is a small chance that she's going to come charging out at some point. So prepare yourself. Oh, I, or... I definitely sent her a message. I definitely sent your dog a message. Like, 
with yeah, yeah, yeah. we got that uh, box of sausage. Uh, the note that says, not Penny's boat. Also, here's <laughs> Bribery. Yes, sure. Dogs on the payroll. Your too. dog's got a Slack account. <laughs> for sure. I'm trying to be for a sure. dog mom influencer, so right. that totally okay. works. I like it. I and like yes, it. chat, I see you. Meadow has OJ in her cereal. Chill. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We, oh, yeah. We, we, we did have a, uh, cool. a whole conversation <laughs> about <laughs> what goes in cereal. Um, mm. Yes, mm. yeah. Well, I, I guess, yeah. So, like, a short recap of what happened, I guess, in everybody's house is that, yeah, so, like, uh, Med Meadow's mom was very concerned about uh, secrets getting let out uh, about, like, their past. Um, and, yes, there was OJ in the cereal. Yes, that, that did happen. Um... Shu uh, had this kind of awkward like relationship with her dad and her step mom, uh, who uh -huh. they both been trying to get through to her. They made her a breakfast that she absolutely hated, um, and uh, Winter Brat just left. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just a bowl of bratwurst, bowl of brats. Um, <sighs> Mana was on the roof um, while her mom sort of like uh, busily left to go be the mayor. Um, but but like we also met her uh, neighbor who was uh, you know um, telling a uh, very long story um, and like and like remember that like this is a woman that both you know is advocating for the turnip uh, for the uh, for the uh, turnip uh, festival and is the one that uh, convinced um, her mom to run for uh, mayor. Right, uh, it's uh, Amelia. Yes, Vander Amelia Vandervitten. Vandervitten. Yes. Yep. Right. Um, and uh, four uh, in the Chadwick Mansion um, was chilling with his uh, favorite butler, Andy. Uh, Andy. Kind of uh, uh, influencing him with his crisscross ways, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, and his dad um, left this very impersonal note, um, kind of warning for that his reputation. Is on the line uh, that, that 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 like the family's kind of like you know into, into like watch yourself you know, um, whack around people, yeah. So yeah, and and and, and like it was just this really note that was like, you know, like it was written by a robot or something. It, like it wasn't loving at all. Um, yeah, so that's where we were. Um, I got ready to dive in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, y'all. So we're gonna continue exactly where we left off which is everyone in this classroom um you just saw felix get yanked away um you also just saw four try to escape through the window but fall from the ceiling uh from somewhere and land on the ground um so what is what is everyone's next move i guess you're in this room uh it looks like you can't escape from it. Uh, what do you do? You guys saw that, right? Uh, I see there's, I mean, there's saw and then there's believe and I'm pretty much a hundred percent only in one of those. I messed Which up one? running away. <laughs> you did. You messed up running away. Are you okay? Aren't you, yeah, aren't you like 16 or whatever? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> shouldn't you shouldn't you be like leading us? Why? You, you know, know that's that actually is, a good question. That is a really good point. <laughs> Just because uh, you have more age than anyone else here and more muscle mass does not mean that you have to be a leader. Hey, Mine is in charge. <laughs> hey, I appreciate your respect in <laughs> the muscles though, Farty. <laughs> and he tries to go out the window again. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. oh, we're trying this you again. You climb out the window again. The <laughs> yeah. exact same thing happens. Uh, uh, are there <laughs> are there pillows or something squishy or anything that we can put on the floor for him as he goes? Well, well I actually, think he needs to learn. <laughs> actually, I would like a uh, uh, four or noir. Uh, no. <laughs> to because you decided to do the same thing again. <laughs> He's not smart. Have, <laughs> have to have some. There has to be some uh, <laughs> consequence to that. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh. um. So I would mm -hmm. like you. Hold on a sec. Uh, I should have had this up. Um, 
Yeah, so I'd like you to roll me uh, a. Uh-huh. Where is this? Hold on a sec. Sorry. Well, GM. Uh... While while you're looking, might I uh, might I haggle for uh, we could not. Oh. <laughs> uh, Has that ever worked? You ever? don't never know. No, it usually uh, gets uh, me disadvantage after I <laughs> spell <laughs> starts off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I, 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 I would like you to roll a, uh, a brawn uh, roll. Uh, okay, I'm not terrible at that. Uh, famous last words. Uh, oh, boy. Here we go. A six. I don't remember if that's fast or fail. <laughs> okay, uh, well, so, like, I did not state the uh, difficulty, but a six is mm-hmm. you are right at it. So if you tie, that goes to the player. Oh, so, 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 so I, so I, you, you, you fall. Mm -hmm. Um, It hurts, but there's no other effects. Like, like it hurts, but you're able to like, you know, fully, fully recover from it as if, as if nothing happened. He's just on the ground and he goes, am I back in the classroom again? (laughs) I don't want to look. You are. You know, Foucault's definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And I just want you to sit with that for a while. Party. Uh, Mana's going to construct a a quick and dirty mojo bag uh, for protection because uh, she's looking around the room and she's thinking the only way out is through that door, through the demon. Okay. All right, cool. So um, her little superstitious self is now uh, constructing a mojo bag. I don't know okay. if that's a role. Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think so because, because, like you know, at this time you're able to concentrate and do it. Like there's nothing, you know, around you or anything. If 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 it was like under pressure or there was something else going on, I would probably make you roll for it. But you have you have time to do it. So yeah, you're you are able to do that. Uh, while while she's doing that, she's gonna pep talk uh everyone else we knew this day would come the demons are amongst us and now they have decided to show their faces to show their and then mana looks around (laughs) uh okay we must go into battle we must take our powers in front of us and we must take them down Okay, but what if instead of battle, we, like, I'm not opposed to a tactical retreat, um, just perhaps with um, a, a better result than fours, you know? Maybe we should never let the 11-year-old lead us, just a thought. Well, the 16-year-old's not doing it. Do you want to okay. do it? Hey, I'm, I'm 14. I, you Age know is just a number, a okay. number made up by humans. I don't I'm think we're dealing with human that. stuff here, mm-hmm. so maybe they don't care about age or whatever, or or like uh, whatever argument makes it so I don't have to like lead people. I don't know. Okay, you, if you don't want to be in <laughs> okay. charge, you don't you don't have to be in charge. Um, can I look out the window of the door yep. and see if I see anything? Do you want to open the door or like look out oh, of the window of the door? I do not want to open that door. I would like okay. to look look through the window and like kind of fr- sure. If I could see, yeah. It. Well, it's so it's not a window you can put your head through, but you can definitely look through it. Yeah, but like the way um, you like press your face against like a tiny window to like see if you can see. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So uh, you could, yeah, and like also, Meadow, I would say the window is a little bit above your height, so like you'd have to like probably like tiptoe up to get to it and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So as you're looking out, um, you don't really notice anything strange. Um, but you do hear what sounds like um, coming from your right, which would be where the door from, wh- wh- where the uh, door is. You start to hear some noise from there. Um, and if you recall, when Four initially looked out the window last episode, that whole crowd that was outside that you were with was gone. Oh, right. right? Um, but now you do start to hear some noise. I can't quite tell what it is. Um, you would have to like, you know, leave and go out to probably get a sense of what it is, but it definitely, it, like, it sounds like there's some noise there, um, that was not currently there. Okay. So, but is it like people noise? Is it like tentacle noise? Like, 
Do well, I, uh, I, tell- I will say if you want to get more idea on what the noise is, uh, let's say you would roll a brains if you want to determine what kind of noise it is. And like this is through a door. Um, so it's it would I'd say it has a difficulty of 10. I rolled an 18, which is possibly Ooh. the highest I've ever rolled on a D20 <laughs> in my whole life. Incredible. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, so uh, you you can tell that this does not sound like the noises that you heard when Felix got um got uh you know removed from the uh from the uh um picture it sounds like the faraway uh noise of a bunch of kids talking and playing um so it sounds like you know that it sounds like there's a bunch of students outside of the school doors hey i think i hear people like people people not demons mana like people Oh, snap, where? Like, that way, like, just, like, outside the doors, but, like, not, we didn't see anybody, right? Before, you didn't see anybody? Like, there's, like, nobody outside, so maybe they all came inside, and, 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 and maybe we could get help. Oh, um, I didn't even stop, is there a, is there a second door in the classroom? You know, like, how older classrooms, okay. Nope, (laughs) only one door, only one door. That is a good question, though, because because mm-hmm. you 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 are you are right. A lot of older classrooms do have the double door thing. Yeah. Um, so we we have two options. We can go out the window and pull a four, or we can go through the door and go into battle. We might not have battle immediately because I don't hear any demon slash tentacle noises. I only hear people noises. Hey, I would totally, totally. Suggest not pulling a four, it kind of hurts. Yeah, I want some pillows before I also lay yeah. on my butt. Yeah. Um, I will I, go and open the door and check. Okay. You say that there's okay. people noises, I believe you. Yeah. All right, is that what you want to do? Yeah, Mana's going to go check the door. Oh, okay. she's so brave. Uh, okay. are, are, are you going to open the door or are you like kind of going around it? Or like, are you just uh, going up, boom? She's going to she's going to first uh, get pull over one of the the chairs from one of the desks um, mm-hmm. so that she can stand on it to then look through the window. Sweet, <laughs> love it. Okay, yeah, um, you hear the same noise that uh, that like metal heard. Um, you know, it s- sounds like a bunch of uh, you know like the faraway sound of a bunch of students coming from your right side. Okay. So she's still wearing her like purple little like prince like outfit with the cape while she's <laughs> looking through the window and and does she see anything through the through the little classroom door? Uh, you see what you would expect to see on a regular school day. You see like the other side of the hallway. You know, there's you 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 can see it. There's other classrooms, lockers, and such. Um, but she doesn't see people. No. No, okay. you, 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 you just hear them, but you, but I'll say as you've been standing there, you do notice that the sound is getting louder. Like the, like the people are getting closer to you. Hey, I'm going to open the door. Yep. She climbs oh. down off the, off the chair and pushes it over to the side and holds her little mojo bag, like in front of her. I'm going to crack it open, and if there's nothing there, then we'll go with plan B, which is running. If mm-hmm. we end up running into battle, we battle. Wait, 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 wait. Battle, uh, battle with the tentacle. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is battle there any- is plan B. It's plan B. It's not plan A. It's plan B. You'll be fine. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Is there okay. anything plan around B the classroom that looks like a weapon? <laughs> Um, I mean, there is, there's chalk, there's erasers, there's a, there is a yardstick, I would say. There, there's like one of those big wooden yardsticks it used to be. I'll, I'll take, uh, I'll take the yardstick. Is there a fire yeah. extinguisher? Uh, yeah, I'll say you can find a fire extinguisher, sure. Yeah, uh, fire extinguisher. I'll, I'll, I'll give, like, I'll point to the fire extinguisher, like, what do you guys should take that? <laughs> I will take it, and maybe the exhaust will make me pass out from this 
dream where some 11 year old in a cape is telling me what to do. <laughs> Let's go. I'll I'll take a moment now looking at all the stuff and just like think about like yardstick, fire extinguisher, chalk, eraser. <laughs> Maybe we can use these things later. And I'll just like grab the rest of the junk that we find and just throw it in the backpack, my backpack real fast. Just okay. Case. Okay. So then like, so, so you're grabbing eraser, chalk, um, and just and some, anything else. And some see. paper, if some like notebook. Yeah, sure. Maybe, yeah. There may be some paper clips. Yeah, exactly. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like that, there's like that kind of like office supply stuff. Um, uh I will say that uh there's also um let me see you know the one thing about the uh one thing I want to try to figure out is how to like a general like <laughs> you know like in in and a perception role or something mm-hmm. like that where you mm-hmm. kind of notice stuff around you is not quite encapsulated so I'm just going to have everybody just roll a d20 uh and if if you get a uh 15 or above you will notice uh, something in the room i do it 20 go roll oh. <laughs> I did. I wow. did do okay that, that feels right <laughs> oh well <wow. laughs> meadow <laughs> okay uh, perceptive yeah i i rolled an 11 <laughs> I got chalk in my eye. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I accidentally so... pushed the exhaust in my face with a extinguisher. <laughs> oh, from, from the extinguisher. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, yeah. Good. So, uh, yeah. So what? Uh, what Mana notices um, <laughs> is so there is a uh, pencil sharpener, right? Like, uh, like, well, like one of like the old school crank ones that you like put your pencil in and turn. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, does that date me when I say that? I don't know. Like, like, the, like that's that's like still in some classrooms, right? They have those, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Remember I a, a non electronic pencil been sharpener in a, in a class <laughs> for a long time. Well, you, you you might have to head back to Iceland and go visit your uh, uh, your the like the one you mentioned. Uh, um, as a socially awkward kid, I hated those pencil sharpeners. <laughs> Dude, I feel like time would stop when you had to go up. I felt like everyone was staring at me. I feel like time would stop, like the teacher would stop, and it would just it was all extra loud was for noise. no reason. <laughs> yeah, all I heard was, was that noise. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. So what you notice is that the, the like pencil sharpener, it looks like it's been dislodged. So it's it's on the wall, but it's kind of kind of halfway off. And it looks like someone tried to, um, that like someone has been like messing with it, you know, like it, it, it just looks like it's been like, like, like manipulated in some way. Like, like it's not quite straight. It's like a little bit tilted. Uh, Mama's going to check it out. Like, you know, do that pull, pull thing to like look inside. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's some pencil shavings in there, you know, um, uh, nothing that you would notice out of the ordinary, like inside of the actual, uh, you know, inside the actual, I don't know what that's called, the shaving collector. Or, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that part of the sharpener is and called. she takes a better look at the actual pencil sharpener itself. Yeah. Uh, when you look at the pencil sharpener, uh, you see that it, um, you can see sort of the imprint of where it would be, where it's like straight, but it's kind of like a little bit lo- like a diagonal, almost like it is something that's been turned in some way. <gasps> Secret passage. And really? then Mana's, Mana's going to turn it. Ooh. Ooh. When you turn it, uh, I would like you to make a grit. Uh, grit. Oh, boy. Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Still got like chalk dust and crust. What's going on? I can't. Do I have anything that adds grit? I don't think I have anything that. Adds. Don't think you do. Okay. Oh. But okay. um, but you should have some adversity tokens from the last game. I do. So, I haven't. I haven't rolled it yet. I have like three adversity tokens. So let me see what I yeah. got. Yeah. So 
Yeah. So yes. Yeah, so so, so the 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 uh, difficulty that I'll set for uh, this is like a six. Okay. Then I will leave as is because I got an eight. Great. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. So as you uh, turn it, you hear this like really really like shrieking noise that kind of sounds like a like a chalkboard kind of like someone's like writing on a chalkboard um be- because the the uh, pencil sharpener is right next to to the uh to the uh chalkboard you like hear it it doesn't really startle you though um you hear the noise uh but you don't notice anyone else is responding like they heard anything like everyone else just kind of looks kind of normal um but you definitely hear it and it kind of you know hear what Some, something moved what moved where I pulled. Yeah, you the, just sharpened a pencil. I pulled the secret handle. The broken pencil sharpener. Something. Maybe it's just the you know exhaust fumes. They should really make these more childproof. But what are you talking about? This is a secret handle. And Boop. something in this classroom has changed. Okay. I, I I'm jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do you go? Do you go toward the window for, or do you try to go out the window? I'll try to go out the window. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, Fuku! Okay. Uh, she said something anyone, changed. I might be able to make it. Does anyone attempt to? Uh, I might try and stop for at this point. For okay. His how, own protection. How, how, how 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 do you try to stop him? Can I just like grab the back of his jersey and just be like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 oh, okay. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, let's go look out the window first, okay? Oh, okay. Do not try and leave. Just... You're going to hurt yourself again. And somehow I feel responsible <laughs> for you all of a sudden. No, I'm cool, man. It's, it's whatever party. All right, let's see what's out there. Okay, okay. <laughs> we go look out the window. We'll, we'll look out the window. Okay. I'm still got him by the jersey. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. The yeah, yeah. I almost forgot you. You wear this UNC uh, this, uh, North, printed jersey, North Carolina from, Michael Jordan jersey, vintage like, baby from your butler. Uh, okay, buddy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, I'll say that you both can look out the window, right? Because like, mm-hmm. you're you're like holding onto a jersey, but like you can still. You're on his side, so he, like, he's he's, he's not pulling against the jersey. He's he's being as chill as four can be while he's terrified. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, so before, as I said before, you know the people were gone. Now, from the perspective of the window, you can see the group of students that you left before. Like it just looks like there's a bunch of people, like kind of like waiting outside. Um. But you do see that it looks like they are starting to turn toward the school um, and walk toward it. Um, and at the same time, you start to hear the noise from outside start to get a lot louder. Everything is actually like looking all normal again back here. Yeah, like I think I think it'd be pretty cool to jump out. No, 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 no. We're gonna go out <laughs> no, the door. No, We're go out I the think- door. I think we should warn them that they shouldn't come inside, even though obviously nothing matters. Oh, or whatever. right. Party, because there's monsters. I, I'm just oh, going to. Yes, yes. Yell, I'm going to yell out the window. Hey! Bruh! There's monsters inside. Don't come in. Oh, and also help? You got a rope? Right. <laughs> uh, you are far enough away that I would say that. People could hear you faintly, but because they're all together and talking mm-hmm. to talk to each other, they can't really like you can't really get their attention from where you are. Um, but all of a sudden, you hear a thum, 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 a loud knocking on the classroom door. I am. Ah, we were fully yelling. There was yelling. Day. There was I, yelling, and now there's more noise. I am fully out that way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I still have you by the. Wait, I'll be ready to uh, come well, with you. With it. <laughs> well, if, <laughs> well, so if you want me. to, if you want to resist, uh, you know, you can you can have a roll off unless okay. you both just want to go with it and uh, have I'll metal roll. fly out of the window. With I four, think I might uh, fly out the window. 
the window. I because I was so distracted by the noise, but I'm still <laughs> hanging on. So I think just like takes me with it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, luckily, you're on the first floor. Uh, um, yeah. So as you, as as four tumbles out the window with with a meadow grasping on to uh, his like okay, you you are on the ground. You you f- fall fall out of the window and you are um, outside of this room, um, laying on the grass outside. <laughs> hey, it worked. All right, run. <laughs> Wait! Huh? Ow! Why? What? Mana, winter, why? What? Did they make it? Tentacles. Made it. But, I mean, does anybody feel bad if we just left and all of these students went into the school of tentacles? I mean, my therapist says that guilt is technically not really a feeling so much as it is a state of being, but I, does anyone else feel just a, a little bit well, who is knocking we, on the door? Who is knocking on the door? Uh, Mana looks over at the uh, the glass uh, in the door to see, you know, I guess climbs back up on the chair, mm-hmm. presses her face against the glass to see who was knocking on the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, as you press uh, your face against the glass, uh, you see a uh, beast of... Uh, I was about to say beast spectacle. So, so when like you're describing someone with glasses, yeah, you say spectacled, spectacled or be spectacled. Be spect- I don't know why I want to say spectacled. Spectacled. Yeah. Spectacled. Yeah. spectacled. Yeah. yeah. I think that works. Um, yeah. yeah. So a uh, bespectacled. Oh my god. <laughs> a, a person with glasses. Uh, yeah. Glasses wearing ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. A a uh, person who you recognize um, as one of the teachers that uh normally teaches in this classroom uh someone give me a a name uh this is what i like on a kids on bike so sometimes i can just stop and just have y'all define who these names are so someone give me a name of a teacher at this school is karen wait what did you say uh, uh, mr jenkins jenkins all right, so you see the face of Miss Jenkins, uh, and Miss Jenkins is, is is like, unlock the door to my classroom. It's not locked. Are you a demon? What? You have to tell me demon? if you are. What are you talking about? We have to start soon. And then you start to also uh-huh. see kids uh, starting to stream in the hallways. Um, and you know, they're joking around, they're going through kind of like the, the uh, normal routine that you would expect to see, um, you know, as people are entering a school. Winter, I think Mm -hmm. it's normal past the door, but I'm not sure. Should we just go through the window? So this is actually my first class. So I might actually just (laughs) stay, but you know, if you want like a, like a boost, I could throw you out there. Um, I, I'm gonna blame you for what happened, though. Just, just FYI. For wait, for what happened? Just you know, the the the, the everything's askew. There's like you know stuff everywhere. You know where four landed. You know there's there's just chairs everywhere. You know what? It's just been. Uh, she's like the worst teacher too. She's so strict. Wait, wait. Mana. Yeah, sure. Meadow. Pencil sharpener again. Well, you you are outside, Beto. So unless you have. Climbed up, are are, oh, right. are you we like sticking your head out the window? Oh yeah, I I, I totally thought I, I I like to be included. <laughs> <laughs> Once I did this, I was like, yeah yeah yeah. A hundred percent. Are you kidding? It's much more interesting than falling on top of four. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Mana yanks the the pencil uh, sharpener again, the uh, back the way that it was before. No. Oh my god! Uh, wow, <laughs> yeah. I was not. Your your GM was not expecting that. Uh, so uh, s- since Meadow is like sort of on the border of the I'm window, half she's half sort of like, what am I doing? Partly in there. <laughs> um, you see Meadow <laughs> sort of like fall 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 almost. 
it almost like she's falling through the base of the window and then she ends up falling from the ceiling and uh, onto uh, the ground. Um, and you don't hear any noise coming from outside. Um, and what, what do I see at the, <laughs> at the uh, window? Miss, Miss Jenkins is no longer there. Uh, uh, well, for, if you want to ask that question, I can tell you, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's what happens. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. A dimensional trigger. It's yeah. like space goonies. Okay, I'm gonna need you to do that again. Whatever you did, but reverse. Where's and four? Mana, Mana does it <laughs> <laughs> to make the people come back. <laughs> yep. So like n- n- now, Miss Jenkins' face is back on the door. Uh, you hear all the noise, and the dude is coming in, and she's continuing to knock on this door. Am I seeing Open up this minute? Am I seeing uh, him just vanish? <laughs> like, well, like at this point, he would have got up and not gone near the window, but kind of well, just looking you, through it. So you definitely, you definitely saw Meadow vanish for sure. Um, but you, you don't know what's going on in the classroom. I mean, you've just yeah. been. I don't know what you've been doing. You've been like laying, taking a nap. Like, I don't, no, I don't no, know. He's he's looking <laughs> in the window now, and like the second they do it again, like. I guess he would see Miss Jenkins appear and then disappear. <laughs> well, uh, if you are in the window, mm-hmm. well, uh, all right. So, so like, so like, Mana like readjusted it, and then mm-hmm. like Meadow fell through. Um, okay. And then, if you are going up to the window after that, sh- she would have to do the same thing again for you to fall through. So. I mean, you could climb through if you want, or yeah, I'll, you, know, I'll, you climb I'll, back through. So. I'll, I'll climb through. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. So yeah. you're back in the classroom. This hey, turns four? on another dimension. So, so we figured she it out. She is correct. Yeah. In the sense of, we figured out there might be an interdimensional portal that an eleven-year-old fixed with a pencil sharpener. Yes. Yes, we have figured everything out. Is it like every pencil sharpener that does I'm that? 11, I'm 11 and a half. <laughs> I think we I have to make sure that pens. nobody else touches this, though. Uh, Imana's going to make a little do not use. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I oh, yeah, like broken. that. Broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, and, and like I'll say, yeah, there's like material. There's, there's some post-its or some kind of like material and there's some pencils and markers so yeah well the the the, the ones that meadow d- did not already oh, sorry did you need to borrow some, I, I just hear i just <laughs> and yeah, yeah it's an great. incredibly deep yeah. bag just you have every office supply in there wow i have many office supplies and other i have other stuff too do, yeah, do you so. know what we've done i mean you all mainly but you know what you've done what you found the best way to skip class. Is it the best way? We've got to yeah. see. If, we've got to see if the rest of these pencil sharpeners work, man. Okay. Or we could not and just go on with our daily life of being teenagers at this horrific time. We have to grasp this opportunity, Winner. Like we, we don't. The world as we know it, even the world as I know it, is completely different. And we have to face that fact. This could be we used for so many sweet pranks. Okay, let's let's just all sit back and remember that there are tentacles in our new discovery um, about skipping school. And you know, that's that's always something to con- you should always consider the tentacles um, in things. And also, uh, maybe we should we should find out if um, principal. Felix is oh here. yeah oh yeah right and if Mary is the superintendent I would like to not ever see Mary ever again she's not very mm. nice to me yeah I'm gonna go with the second one yeah mm. okay so also, should, we, let should we should we try uh, obviously I'm not in this classroom um I'll try the pencil sharpener in my own. Should we regroup during lunch? 
Yep. Oh. I mean, I, yeah, I guess yeah. I, could, I, could, I could see it with y'all or, or whatever. You can see it with me. Yeah, whatever. I... <laughs> I, I would have no no problem sitting sitting with someone at lunch. That would be um yeah. No, yeah. I I do that all all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I usually sit at the north tree to do my lunchtime rituals. Would you be okay with meeting there? Better than the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean like I'll 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 skip and go to your lunch period just because I I, I sit with a certain group of folks. You know, and we got to talk about stuff. It's not not important. Yeah, I'll see you all there. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, uh, do y'all leave the open the door, leave the classroom? Yeah, I, I sure. Yeah. yeah. This is I, my this is my class again. So I just, yeah, I just take a yeah, seat yeah, exactly. in the back, so, like nothing's happened. Like. Yeah. Uh. So. Um. Yeah. So. You, you you open the door, Miss Miss uh, Jenkins comes in. She gives you a very stern look. Um, the rest of uh, of uh, Winter's class uh, they uh, come come in. Um, Miss Jenkins looks very surprised because there's no chalk, there's no eraser, <laughs> there, there there you know there's there, you know there, there there's like a chair that was like dragged over to the door that like Monty used to look out the window and like she's just looking around and, and just sighs and just starts to um you know to like not only to like put the chair back but to um she's brought additional chalk and erasers apparently this happens a lot uh students take uh things from the classroom so she starts to uh put that uh back um and uh you know I'll say everything goes completely normal as you'd expect until lunch, um, do y'all do uh, do like y'all just go through your normal routines? Like nothing happens until lunch, or is there something you want to try to do or inspect? I'm, I'm, I'm going into a classroom. Every classroom I go into, we have pencil sharpeners getting inspected. Yeah, okay. same. So, yeah. so if you so is that what you do? Like before you meet up at lunch? Yeah. Any yeah any classroom I'm in before I uh. Before I go to lunch, well, absolutely. Okay. So, like, are you kind of, like tell me how you're how you're trying to do that? Because every time you, either you're going into a classroom when you're in it, meaning obviously there's a bunch of students and a teacher there, or you're trying to like sneak out and go into an empty classroom. Uh, oh, I'll just I'll just um I'll just focus on the the classrooms that I am supposed to be in, and I'll just go and sharpen a pencil. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's perfectly normal. It's like you sharpen a pencil, like it comes out extra pointy, extra nice, you know. Um, you go with the, the pencil sharpener and kind of like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you just, you, you, <laughs> just kinda... yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, they're all affixed to the wall pretty strongly. I mean, if you've ever used w one one of these in an actual classroom, they're usually like bolted in there, <laughs> like it's like you know, like cemented in there. Um, so yeah, you, you can't really move any ones that you try, they all seem pretty normal mm -hmm. um and anyone else that wants to try that as well you have the same experience um they all i have the opposite where i go out of my way not to be around any of them um but yeah i do try to go into the principal principal's office um just to ask okay. about felix because i feel a smidgen of guilt sure uh, tell me how you go because you have a schedule, right? So you can't just go like you'd have to <laughs> try to excuse yourself from your class or somewhere. So like, tell me, yes. how, how does Winter uh, get to the principal's office? Hi, Ms. Jenkins. I have to use the bathroom. It's that time of the month. And so I'm having an incredibly heavy flow. Winter, um, go, go. Winter, go. Please go, go. Are you sure? Because we can talk about it if you'd like. We don't uh, my need to talk about that. that. Okay. All right, but this Thank is you. a missed chance of bonding. I want that to be on on you, okay? I'm I'm gonna just be gone for a long time, so I'll just I'm thank just you, gonna... Winter. Bye. I take my bag with me, <laughs> um, <laughs> and this is definitely not the first time I've used that excuse before. And yeah. <laughs> I walk to the principal's office, and mm -hmm. um, I I just like knock at the door. Okay, uh, you you knock knock at the door. 
Um, you hear uh, the uh, principal's uh, assistant, um, well, and and my alarm, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, golf. Um, did did I come through on the mic? Did uh, y'all hear no. that? No, no. Oh, wow, wow, this mic is pretty good. That was like literally like my la- like that loud Apple like alarm. Um, the school bell, uh, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, the school now. bell. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so like, yeah, you, 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 you like hear the uh, voice of uh, his um, assistant, just like, come in. Hey, um, hey, assistant principal pal, whatever. Um, has hey, princi- do, do, do you have an appointment with Felix? Yes, I do. I have an appointment with oh, Felix. I- Oh, uh, w- w- what's your uh, name? Um, Winter Lee Von T. Bergen. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know who you are. You're you're a T. Bergen. I mean, everybody. Yeah. Knows who you are. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you. You know, you're uh, kind of. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. Um. Okay. And 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 then he goes and he looks on, mm-hmm. on the list and says, "Well, I don't see you on the list here." Um. Um, he said it was like a family thing, like super secret Von Tiebergen stuff that we have to talk about. So, and you know, family is not just blood; it's also different relations. So, it, I think it's very important that I speak to Felix. Oh, a super secret thing that you're telling me about? Well, it's not a secret in describing the secret. It is a secret in describe in if if I told you what we were going to discuss. Okay. Well, he does have an open slot now, so I'll just put in. I'll just write down in the agenda super secret family things because like I just, I just have to keep a uh, record of uh, every, every everything um, and then yes he, uh, of course mm-hmm. yeah so 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 like he uh, he picks up the phone says um, um, I have winter here um, do you want me to like to like a sender it yeah okay great puts down the phone and says okay you, you can go ahead and um and he points toward the door like behind him thank you thank you young assistant sir okay great yeah i have a name you know i don't um, want to know it actually it's like better you, if i don't know who you are t-bergens always don't really care no, thank you um okay uh you walk through the door uh you see felix uh he's laying there um, he has that bullhorn and that radio, like you see, kind of on the side that he was using to try to get everybody to, uh, you know, jump to crisscross, uh, of which four was the only one in the old school to do. Um, he has a bunch of pictures around. Um, his office um, is a little more, it's a uh, pretty, I wouldn't say messy, but kind of like on the border of being messy. Um, there's like a lot of papers around, a lot of like statues and awards and that kind of stuff around um and he just looks up and says oh hey winter how's it going uh hey felix how are you feeling do you feel like particularly tentacly right now oh 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 is that like some kind of new slang uh yeah i'm feeling dope Ah, uh, that's somehow worse. Um, okay. Uh, but you... but like not that kind of dope. Like this is of a school. Course. Of course. So yeah. So mm-hmm. like if if the tentacle if the tentacle thing is like that, like like we don't talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, make sure you, that's actually <laughs> a really popular on? phrase. You should use that all the time. But um, I'm just okay. Wanted to see if you were okay. Um, see if you had any notes that you wanted to write and like the palm of your hand or anything like that? You're no. Uh, to be honest, winter, I'm kind of thrown off. You've never asked how I was in all of the time that we've known each other. Uh, nor will I ever again, but today is special. And I just wanted to make sure you existed. And now I take, my leave. Are you okay? Uh, in the happen? general, s- <laughs> uh, in the general sense of the world, uh, no, I'm not okay. But also in the right now, at the moment, no, I'm not okay. So I'm 
gonna see you at the next tomorrow. Yep. Okay, great. Well, wait, 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 hold hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um and he says, um I heard um, you know, like Superintendent Mary sticking around. Um if you see her around, uh just remember uh you know, kind of like T-Burk and a T-Burk and like, like job is kind of on the line here. So just make sure that, uh, I mean, I would say you and your friends, but you, uh, you know, just uh, be on your best behavior. Okay. Um, Don't embarrass I'm, me in front of her. That would go against my ethos of trying to destroy the T-Burgans, but are you, which which superintendent? Like, are you? She, I, oh well. You, did we talk this morning? Like, I just have to know. Did, did we have any discussion outside at all? Did you want to show me a miniature Eiffel Tower? I know that sounds weird from a fourteen year old, but I legitimately mean like a miniature. Uh, he looks over, uh, and there is a miniature Eiffel Tower, sort of in the corner. Um, and like, and like, he's like, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I have one, like I talk about it all the time. Uh, I'm really proud of it. Uh, what's going on winter? Like we, we, we talked like this morning, like when we were waiting outside, um, or did, did you get enough sleep today? <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I must not have, must've been the, the, the hard not sleeping, you know. Um, I, I think I'm gonna uh, go now and um, reevaluate my concept of reality. Okay, great. <laughs> good, good talk, Felix. Good talk. Okay, great. T Bergen out. Oh, God, you make me regret so many things. Uh, and then I just like run out. <laughs> <laughs> just full sprint out. Just straight uh, run. Okay. All right. Um, anything else anyone does before lunch that is like outside of your normal like routine? Uh, Mana's gonna talk to Coach D real quick. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll say that you have a a gym class, so uh, Coach D is sort of around, so you know you can uh, you 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 can talk to him. Okay. Um, Coach D. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you, have you noticed any demons in school? Uh, or have there been demon reports? Or have there been students that have a lot of strength, more strength than they should have, perhaps because they're demons? Well, I mean, Mana, like you're kind of embarrassing me here. I mean, I, I mean, in like he he kind of looks at his, uh, you know, at like his uh, arms, uh, and he's kind of like, well, I mean, I was the, you know, Olympic wrestling uh, champ, you know. So yes, there are some people here that are stronger than others. Yeah, I, I know there that there are maybe some people that are really strong, maybe people that have some unquote superhuman strength demon strength as you say yeah uh, uh thanks thanks for making the old man smile i i appreciate it mana oh coach d never change <laughs> yeah uh uh but by the way i i know it hasn't been that long but like really give some thought to that idea about uh you know me bringing the gang back together like i think your mom will be really interested but i think she needs to hear it like from you, you know? Um, so I, I'm, I'm not trying to use you or anything, you know, I'm just uh, saying maybe you as your daughter, as her daughter can, you know, yes, throw a little worm in her ear. There's a, a number of people that also think the same way since my mom is now, well, my earth mother is now uh, the, the mayor. But I, I do think that, you starting a citywide um, wrestling program is a good idea because it will help with uh, energy and um, connecting the body with 
the spirit. So I, uh, I do, I do think it will be a good idea and it might help balance things out. It does not address my demon problem. However, um, I will find other avenues of inquiry, inquiry for that. Sure. Um, I'm in the middle of a dodgeball game, uh, but you know, I've, I've, uh, you know, as as you've been talking, he's been like <laughs> duck, ducking and dodging red rubber balls um, and uh, also throwing them at uh, pr- pretty mercifully at. Uh, Young students, um, he says, uh, "Yeah, uh, so uh, like, can I get back? Can I get back to you uh, on that?" Yeah, just, just if you run into any students that have extra arms, and those arms happen to be tentacles, or maybe perhaps their eyes glow um, when they are, you know, in in the throes of of wrestling extremity then you know just uh let me know Ooh, roll a uh should make an executive decision here is i'm gonna use uh technically charm for uh, i guess a perception roll for a person so why don't you roll a charm roll a charm for me cool i get a plus one with that because kid let's see here why am i rolling eights Oh. Okay. Uh that's that's definitely high enough. Um man, when you say that word tentacle, you see his you see a change in his face. Like it kind of like just for a second though, like you kind of see um he, you you like know how when um when some people are lying, their eyes kind of dart up to the side. Like you kind of see that like a little bit. He just kind of goes off just like a little bit. Um and then he kind of gets back to um, you know, to his regular conversation. Hmm. Uh, Mana takes a step back, like looks him in the face. Like, hmm. You are not telling me the complete truth. And I'm going to remember that coach D. Uh, okay. Uh, bye Mana. Bye. Coach D. <laughs> yeah, and uh, as you say that, he's you know he's uh, bobbing and weaving. Uh, <laughs> I forgot there were rules in that dodgeball movie. It was it was like the rules of dodgeball. It was like duck, dive, dodge, dip, dodge, something like that. Yeah, yeah. dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, what, what a what a fantastic movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so so yeah, he's uh, doing doing all that kind of stuff, and I'm assuming you you walk away, Mona, or like do you try to? Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, she walks away, but keeps on like glancing back. Great. Okay. Um, hey, anybody uh, four? Do you do anything different during your morning yeah. routine? Yeah, like you know, like I didn't even know we like freaking had a bio lab, so I kind of. I kind of want to check it out or or see what it looks like or whatever. So okay. I want to check it out. Sure. Um, you walk up. Well, uh, w- would you know where it is? I guess if, if you don't well, know. I told you where it was. <laughs> Metal did tell me where it was. I promptly forgot. Metal. You remember. Yeah, exactly. uh, so I'm, remember just, I'm just like. You're just wandering just the halls. Tagging nerds <laughs> as I walk by like, hey. Okay. Where's the uh, bio so, lab, bro? So, <laughs> so like, so like, uh, you find one particular nerd, mm-hmm. um, and he says, "Get away from me, Chad Stick." No, bro, it's for dude. Whatever, your families are control everything. Well, well, get get away from me. I'm actually here on merit. I actually earned my spot here. Oh, good on you, bro. Like, hey, what's up? And we give him a go for a high five. Oh, buddy. Wouldn't high five you. Oh, germs or whatever? Like, I'm totally clean, but I get you. What's a merit? Let me ask, let me ask you a question, <laughs> Thor. Um, 
What do you think you would do if you didn't have all that money, all that prestige? And like, if like you d- didn't live up in that, in that mansion that just is gated off from the regular people, what do you think you would do? Oh, I'd probably live in another mansion that my dad bought. Oh, God. Is that not what the right answer? Oh, right. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm trying to get to the bio lab or whatever. Uh, you, you don't know where the bio lab is? Nah. It's like the biggest thing. Like, it just opened. It's brand new. Like, seriously, you haven't. Like, they've been doing tours of it. Like, it's supposed to revitalize the academy. No, nah, bro. This, nah. None of this rings a bell to you. Nah, All the assemblies nah. we had about it. Oh, the assemblies are just where you get to leave early. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll take you to the bio lab, and I want you to uh, roll a charm as well. Awesome. Let's see if I'm a charming boy. Yeah. Uh, I am and, not. I rolled a nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, you dutifully dutifully follow uh, this nerd. Who, by the way, you, I would say, would you, does four, would he know the names of, I, I have a sense you wouldn't know this person's name. Probably uh, not. He, he yeah. seems chill. Like he's got marriage or whatever. I wonder yeah. if that's like, like a new, like a new toy or something. And like I'll say that this is somebody that is in your grade. You should definitely know them. You've been in several classes, <laughs> several classes with them. Uh, you know, uh, and you know, but like you're just like, hey, nerd, nerd boy. <laughs> show, I want to hang out with him or whatever, but every time um, I talk to him, he's like in a book or something. I'm like, that's not chill. Yeah. That's not party. All right. So he brings you to uh, a door, uh-huh. and like, and like he he like says, "There's the bio lab. Why don't, why don't you go check it out?" Oh no! Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. Hey, hey, good luck on those merits. And he just goes into the door. Okay. Uh, as you oh. go, as you go through the door, mm-hmm. um, you see a bunch of like the whole right side is like uh, sinks and uh, mirrors, and the left side looks like a bunch of uh, stalls. Bio lab is just a fancy word for bathroom. Oh, <laughs> and, and 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 then you like you 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 like here on on the outside of the door. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the bio lab for you four. Yeah, why did you say it like that? Because it was funny. You get it? Like bio, like bio break, bio lab. Is that? Right? The uh, no. Uh, God. Oh, huh? God. <laughs> come here, four. Come here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just go back out there too. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. And uh, you. Uh. So. So. So he like, says, "All right, I'll uh, fine. I'm, I'm done having fun with you. Let's 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 just go over to the lab." Um, we were there's two of them. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the second lab. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, let, let's 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 go. Oh for man, some. no wonder they were so many assemblies about it. How many labs are there? Uh, yeah. And like he, uh, when he says go t- to like the other lab, you basically uh, turn around and there's like a room that says bio lab. Uh, you know. Oh, this this one has it on the door. This is probably the main one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, you hear the a nerd say, "Wait a minute, there's some kind of like," uh, and you see that there is a, uh, a, a a key code uh, on the door that uh, like the nerd looks surprised by. So it looks like it was not there. Oh man. Before. If- if you got he's basically go, like you're screwed and, with this lab. 
<laughs> and and uh, he he's uh, basically like, oh crap, what what is going on here? My like, like my experiments are in here. I don't, nobody told me. Nobody gave me a key card. My God, uh, I got to go to Felix and find out what's going on here. Oh, do you got a um, plant that you're worried about too, man? Like I'm already checking on one. Like I can check on yours too, or whatever. Is that what your merit is? Is it your plant? Uh, he walks away from you. Uh, uh, and so it's just you in, nice. front of this, uh, <laughs> in front of this uh, door with a key code. Uh, you, you can do whatever you want. So boop, what do you want boop, to try to do? Boop, boop. Well, I'm trying to make it go boop, 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 boop. So he's going to be doing that for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll say that in the time that you do it, you hear three like buzzes as sounds like you entered in something wrong. Uh, and a security guard, uh, appears, uh, walking toward you. Um, now this is not, you know, this is not like. You know, like there's not like armed cops in this school or like anything, right? This is like a school security guard. Um, you know, basically the only difference between him and the teacher is he's wearing like you know, like a, oh, like a blue oh. shirt and, yeah. and some khakis, right? That's that's like the only difference. Um, now, now wait a minute, there. Huh? What are you doing? I get out I, that lab. I have to pee. Well, the bathroom is over there. Yeah, the bio lab's right here. I don't want you to use the bathroom in the bio lab, son. Just go ahead in the bathroom. Well, I also need to check my plants. I'm sorry. The bio lab is locked down until further notice. Why? I just installed that keypad today. Oh, snap. That's cool, man. Party. Like, um, what's the code? Now, why would I tell you the code? Because... I don't want you Chadwick's in there. Hey, man. Like, my name's Four, dude. Like, Chadwick is my dad. I know who you are, Four. And I refuse to call you that, Thaddeus. Now, hey, now hey, go hey. Ahead in the bathroom. Now, just go ahead in the bathroom so I can get back to work. I want to go in this bathroom. <laughs> well, I'm not going to let you in. So if you want to just stand there outside the door and look like a dummy... Go right ahead. Okay. And then he uh, walks away. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then you hear, uh, you know what? I'll say it, <laughs> that the scene fa- fades out because I feel like you're going to keep doing this. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. So the scene fades out with you just, just booping and hearing buses. Uh, you know, like this, like the camera backs away and, uh, and, and the scene, uh, fades out. Um, and, you know, we have a bunch of like commercials, you know, after these messages, we'll be right back. A bunch of cool commercials, yeah, breakfast Eggos cereals. Commercial. Oh, Pop- yes. People yeah, pour exactly. milk in the cereal. Yeah. And let it soak. Oh, yeah, exactly. There, there is a, uh, there is a uh, a uh, fruity pebbles commercial where uh, where uh, Barney and Fred are arguing about putting orange juice in their fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles uh, and orange juice is surprisingly good. Wow, you know, wow, I wouldn't think that the fruit, fruit. the but you know, <sighs> let's roll, you know, let's go. <laughs> let's go, you know, um, so, so raw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll, when we come back from commercial. Um, we are all under the uh, North Tree, um, where Mana, you know, asked us, asked you all to meet her for lunch. Um, Winter's excited because it's not the bathroom. Um, Four is not with his, uh, you know, jock and rich friends that he normally uh, s- s- sits with. Uh, Meadow, do, do you have like a normal group of folks that you would normally sit with during lunch? Um. Yeah, I think I I have just some some people in my grade that all of us are kind of working on like the side like we're usually the ones who go to the bio lab during lunch. Gotcha. 
and we do really you know we we try to make sure that we don't mix up our lunch and whatever we're working on especially if it's organic but you never know oh, there's there have been some funny crazy kooky times where someone opened a pudding cup and it was a petri dish and mm, oops. sure uh, <laughs> yeah so yeah so so like you know so like yeah as you, you know you're going over to the north tree and your friends are like where like where's she going um so you're all at the tree um yeah what happens when you all are at the tree with your food well i tried every pencil sharpener that i came across today and i have a lot of very sharp pencils and that's all i got i to i talked to coach d i think the d might be demon and then mana starts crying oh no oh oh you're crying uh okay he I, I would have never guessed it, but he's he's one of them. I I wonder if maybe all the adults are. Well, I'll say this for Felix. He is just, he doesn't remember anything. He is totally fine. He's acting like he wasn't just destroyed by a tentacle monster. I did convince him the tentacle was a spun slang. So have a, have enjoy, enjoy that in the next <laughs> morning announcement. But he's just totally normal yeah like i that's, that's that's pretty pretty weird like there's a lot of weird stuff going around like uh i figured out that bio labs are are like bathrooms and there's like one main bathroom that has like a key code uh to it and i was trying to play a song on the buttons but it didn't work so you know did yeah, I heard you got bullied by a nerd. Did huh? Meadow give you a paper that had all the information that you needed on it to get in the bio lab? But I don't, there's not a, yeah. that's not locked though. I mean, you, you go in for class and, and we always are able to go in and check on experiments and stuff. Shouldn't be locked. Nah, the security guards are like, I put a code, I put a code on there. You're going to look like a Chadwick and just be dumb or whatever. And I'm like, dude, you don't but, know me. You don't know my life. But how, are we, how are we supposed to check our experiments if it's locked? That's what I was trying to say. I was just like, if you got to use the bathroom, man, you can't get in because nobody knows the code. Don't, please don't use the bathroom in the bio lab. But that's what it was. That's what it's for. It's, um, no. Oh, I get it. Bio lab. <laughs> I, I also get that people don't do that. Please. I, hang on, four. Yeah. Four, four. Look me in my eyes and promise me something, please. Uh huh. What? Please only, please only use the the bathroom bathrooms and not the bio lab bathroom. That that is not for that purpose. Will you promise me? We have a lot of sensitive experiments in there that can't be corrupted by. Other organic material. I mean, it's cool. It's just like I, I, I can tell the difference. Like regular bathrooms have like the urinals and the stalls, and like the bio labs only have the stalls. Did you go in the girls' bathroom? Huh? No. Yeah, I, I heard that you got bullied by a bunch of nerds. Uh, who's saying uh, nobody bullied me this kid was nice he was like hey you know i got here on marriage and i'm like hey good job man um i don't know how to fix this yeah i, I think we're just gonna let that slide yeah yeah i don't i don't there's twin souls is fascinating and there's a a lot that twin souls just experiences on their own and like mom just looks over at four. You'd, sometimes you just have to marvel in it. I, yeah. Party. I really suddenly would love to attach some like electrodes and stuff to and, and monitor monitor those neural paths. That is fascinating. There is mm. a ritual that I want to do with twin souls. Uh, jersey because i really believe that that is like that's their attachment and like that's what's stopping them from realizing their own power is twin souls like twin peaks it shows dope 
See? See I'm going to I'm I'm going to give you a number of a therapist, um, not my therapist, my former therapist. Um, she broke up with me. It's it's a really big deal. Just if you want to talk about things, you should you should go. I'm talking right now. We're having a good time. Party. So Ooh. Coach <sighs> D definitely knows something about the demons. When I mention it, uh, his face changed. Not like not like a lost boys change but more like he knew something change mm. so that leads me to believe that if coach d knows something then every teacher at this school might because why would they just have the wrestling coach they'd have them all yes we have to have a plan mm. we know one of the pencil sharpeners unlocks the other dimension the tentacle dimension. And we know we should go back, right? Can we can we call it a different dimension? I just feel like the word <laughs> tentacle dimension. Like I don't want to take away your thunder, you know, Mana. It's just it's just that's a that's a that's a hard one for for us to, I think to sell. <laughs> what if we just call it the creepy dimension or, you know, uh the the time that um my step uncle or whatever just disappeared and thinks it's totally normal. Do you the think creepy um, dimension? Do you hmm. think that the biolab is locked in the creepy dimension? Oh, we should check it out. That that Show that stupid security guard who looks dumb when I like appear in there because I came in from the tentacle dimension. <laughs> and... Again, we gotta mm, let's just rename that real. Yeah. So um Turn as away. as you say tentacle dimension, uh you see Felix uh <laughs> uh your principal, your principal, uh walking up and like he says, Hey, what's up, my tentacles? What's going on? That feels, that feels uncomfortable when you, when you isn't say that. that. Like, isn't that what y'all are saying? You know, this was a funnier bit in my head. I'm not going to lie. Mm, okay. <laughs> Wait a bit. Well, well, it's not a bit. I'm just, I'm just, I believe in speaking to the youth the way you speak. Why is that, the bio that lab is a path for education? <laughs> just yeah. yells at him. Actually, actually, prin princip princip principal, principal, Felix. Um, principal. Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, um, I went to go check on my experiment for, uh, you know, kind of prepping stuff for the science fair. And I noticed that there was a lock on the bio lab. Um, I have some sensitive stuff in there that needs to be kept at a particular stable temperature and I need to check on it. And there's a, can you tell me what the code is for the lock, please? Oh, well, I mean, I can't share the code. I mean, it's, it's some, I mean, you're right. There's some sensitive stuff in there and, you know, um, unfortunately, we did have to lock it down because you know Fine. what? Those, those, oh those man, uh, cheaper and turnips. They've been, well, we've heard they, they've been trying to take some stuff from our school and that, that whole rivalry thing. Um, so unfortunately, we've had to lock things down because, you know, they just, we just we can't trust them. We had to lock things down because kids from the art school are stealing our things. Well, yeah. Why would why would they? I mean, why are you looking at me like that, Winter? Nothing, nothing. I think that's a very appropriate response when ten yeah. kids with paintbrushes steal your things. I think that's a great. I, I think you're doing I a think great so job. Too. Awesome, to thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Rock on. Yeah. But but, but mm -hmm. the experiments. How are we supposed to work on our experiments? Hey, uh, well, we'll figure that out as we go along. But safety is most important. Safety is number one. Hey, hey, we Felix. Um, we crisscross together, man. Like you can, you can trust me, dude. I mean, we did crisscross together. Party. Um. Uh. But uh, I'm party. Sorry, I am the principal. Like I have to keep uh, everyone. This is a principal safe. move, man. This is yeah. a principal. Yeah. I'm not a principal. No, I, like, a principal kind of, like, would tell me so I can go to the bathroom. To they do listen to principals, though. That's why I've been successful, right, Winter? Mana? I you know? don't think you want me to answer that, honestly. Um, last time I, I made you cry. But anyways, speaking of <laughs> principal moves, um, you know, I think it's really important to write down um, key passwords on uh, pieces of paper. 
Um, because it's really important uh, within the surveillance community to always make sure that you have a backup option. Because what if you forget? What if you get uh, attacked by a creepy tentacle monster? So, you know, if I were a principal, not that I would ever, but if I was, I would write down all the numbers and the passcodes to the school somewhere and make sure to, to keep it somewhere where I could see it. That way I would never forget anything. If you, I have a, pa I have a pad of post-its and um, this, uh, this pen, um, you may have to write kind of hard on the, on the, the, the top layer of the post-it to, to, to make it right because that's, that's how post-its work. But here's a pad of post-its if you would like to use that to write it down. Whoa, what, do you just carry a bag of post-its with you? I enjoy office supplies. I find them to be useful in a, a, a variety of situations. Okay, well, thanks. And, and he uh, takes the post-it from you and he says, um, you know, that's actually a good idea. Um, mm -hmm. It's not like we have, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> a, a web browser that saves passwords yet or a manager definitely. of passwords. Definitely. No, uh, no. So, so, yeah. so yeah, like we definitely do need a backup. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna take you up on that. I'm I'm gonna. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously not gonna do it here. I mean, I can't show you the code, uh, of right? Course not, of course not. Of course not. But, you should uh, do it in your office. Just it's really remember the first uh, rule of surveillance safety is that you should write down all of your passwords at some point. So mm -hmm. why don't you just leave it in your office? And uh, I, I, you, it would be rude if you took meadows post-it pad so just write it down where we can't see it and give meadow back her post-it pad uh-huh and you take yes. your password with you yeah you Ooh. can you can use some of the post-its but i also i like i if you don't use all of them maybe i can have the rest of the pad back. oh yeah yeah she she loves office be... supplies mm -hmm. <laughs> This will be a very high charm roll if, if you want to try to convince him to write the passcode down right now and not yeah. show it to you and give him the thing. So well, I'll say this is a, later? So this is this is a 19 charm if y'all want to pull this off. Like Who's it's like, like combined, combined 19. Not combined, not Who's combined. Who's charm? You know, I'm, I'm a D4. I, so. I'm a, I'm I can a handle. I'm I can a handle it, but I'm not. I'm, I'm a, a D10 and I don't have nine adversity <laughs> tokens to even. Yeah, so I mean, you could, I mean, y'all could pile all the tokens if you wanted into, into this. I have one really adversity to do it. token left. I have two. So I've got three. So I don't think we have enough. I mean, you don't have so to try six. to do this. You don't have to try to do this. I'm just yeah, saying, if you I did want to try to do it. Can, can it I try it? A, I'd be willing to roll it so I can get another adversity token. <laughs> Yeah, That's I'll do another, it. I'm a four. So, yeah, hundred so, percent guaranteed. Yeah, so that is <laughs> another fail. No, no, no. That, that, that's another great part about this game, though, is that yeah, you might want to gamble on stuff that you is improbable because you'll get that token, right? So well, let's try it. Did roll uh, a five? I, you know. Oh, I, I even got oh, a nine. So close. I just need ten more. <laughs> You only yeah, need, need five more to make it. Uh, oh wait, Noir got a uh, four. fourteen. Four, four got a fourteen. Yeah, four got a fourteen. Only need so five more. Do you Do we want have five to five amongst us? I mean, you you I've got, my I've got two advert. myself. You can take one I of my advert. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can, uh, you can take one or two of mine. All right, so I'll use my two. I'll use your two. I'll use Metal's one, and that that uh, it, hold on, I I literally stopped mathing. Um, <laughs> that's five. That's three. Yeah, that's five. That's that's five. So that's what we'll do. Is, okay. uh, and uh, four is just gonna say to make this happen is like Felix, not party, not party. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, would you really take away an, a, station, a piece of stationery that, that brings a 13-year-old girl so much joy? Oh, no, I would never take your stationery. I mean, it looks like you definitely got this. I guess your parents bought it for you or something. And I like that you're 
like prepared. Um, so he uh, rips off a piece. He gives you back the full piece and then he writes down, you know, like obviously he, he like kind of has it in his hand and he's kind of. Oh, he doesn't write it, it on down. the pad. He doesn't write it on the pad. Ugh. I tried. Oh, y'all did. <laughs> you, 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 you know what? Y- y- y'all did uh, kind of make this happen. So yes, I will. <laughs> I will rewind and say yes. He uh, he writes it on the pad, um, and then he rips the front off and gives you back the rest of the pad, and says, "Thanks. I'm gonna put this somewhere real secure." Which I am happy to help contribute to your security. Have mm-hmm. an excellent afternoon. Um, Appreciate yeah. it. You, you should go somewhere else now. Slightly more party. Well, well, I was hoping I could like, and like he's he's beginning to sit down with his food. No, like, no, no, we could no, no. This is this is the sacred tree, and there is an age limit of those that can be underneath its branches during specific times of the day. I have communicated with this tree, and it has told me this wisdom. <laughs> Unfortunately, Principal Felix, you are outside of the demographic for this time slot. Okay, I can, I can roll with that. Like, uh, I, can, I can roll with that. I want to give you your boundaries. I, I, I respect that. Uh, tentacle on. Um, and he, uh, mm. to uh, with mm. his, uh, you know, pad. Not sure. Um, and as he's walking away, uh, I think it's a good time to take our break. Um, yes. So we'll take a short break, everybody. Uh, so we'll put up a BRB screen. Um, say how long a break y'all want to take? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Take five. Sure. Yeah. Five minutes. Five. Great. Yeah. So we'll be back up in five, y'all. Hey, we're back. Uh, we're all eating lunch under under the tree, you know, un- under the northern tree. Um, uh, as we so hope 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 everybody had a good break, was able to eat some food, go you know, go to the actual bio lab, you know, go go to the bio lab at your at your place, you know. Uh, hopefully, there was not a a, a key code um, like attached to it. Um, by the way. Um, I remember the, I don't know how commonplace this was, but the first time I traveled internationally to Europe and saw a toilet that you had to pay to use, it like, I thought it was like a scam. Like, I like I thought it was a scam. Like, I thought it was like, you know, like, you know, for my growing up in New Jersey and New York, where people always try and do some kind of like scam to, to like tourists or whatever. I was, mm. I, was, I was like, man, this is some tourist scam. Like, it can't be like this everywhere. No. That like that is everywhere. upsetting. <laughs> yeah, you you absolutely have to pop that euro in there to uh, <laughs> use the restroom. Mm. Um, yeah, but but you know, since 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 El Marquis is our international traveler, have you seen that in a lot of places that you've lived, uh, or is that uh, like just a European? Thing? Is that just like a Western European thing? When I traveled, it was it was more like um, childhood to like adolescent to teenager. Um, mm-hmm. and with that, I don't remember pay toilets, okay. Oof. but yeah, I have also, no idea. it's also a possibility that my parents were very savvy. They were always very savvy right. when it came to traveling, <laughs> like they, they knew where to go and where not to go. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I have no idea if that stuff is just in tourist areas or if it's a new thing. That's the or... worst kind of capitalism. <laughs> like... I have no idea. 
I, yeah. I really don't know. I just remember being shocked. I was like, what? Are you serious? Mine was always like, it's always the train stations and you're, you're like rushing to get your train, trying to run to the restroom and you need to have like exact change and I'm trying to like put it into the little machine. It's, I, 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 have, I still have nightmares about that. <laughs> right. Yeah. I would probably be of the mind of like, okay, cool. I, I pay for this toilet, but I'm taking some of this toilet paper with me. Yeah. Hey. It's hey, mine now. Ev- everyone gets a free, a free square. <laughs> like a free square of toilet paper with your purchase. <laughs> with Welcome the, to Germany. Your... Here's your square. <laughs> Here's your square. <laughs> That's right. Um, cool. Yeah. So, uh, but BioLab Adventures. Uh, yeah. So we are all um, eating lunch. Uh, we just had a conversation with the uh, principal, Felix T. Bergen. Um, and uh, very proud of y'all that the group pulled together. Um, and convince him to write, uh, well, not only c- convince him to write his code down, but convince him to write it down right there on the pad that Meadow uh, handed to him. Um, and uh, then he tried to, you know, hang out some more and probably got dismissed by Mana, <laughs> which, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, so uh, that's where we are, guys. Uh, we're all eating. Um mm-hmm. Felix has a, has a just a left. We have this this uh, notepad. Uh, I mean, this uh, post-it thing. Obviously, he took you know his copy off the top. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna regret asking. What do you want to do now? But I kind of want to know what everybody has for lunch. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We can <laughs> we, we can go around. Yeah. Well. Well. Let, let's uh, start with four. What, what do you have for lunch? Uh, he has caramelized prime ribs uh, sandwich. Uh, yeah, all yes. wheat bread, uh, lettuce, you know, and it's a lot of a lot of meat in there because he's bulky, you know. Bulk yeah, ab- <laughs> absolutely. A- Andy has definitely prepared. He prepares your lunch every day, mm-hmm. um, and he, you know, it's I would fire. say that you even, I would say that you even have like, like a plate and silverware, <laughs> like you have like an actual <laughs> like dinner plate. Like like an actual plate and, that, and like four, that's going know, straight to the garbage. <laughs> you know for sure. Uh, that so like you're eating your caramelized <laughs> prime rib sandwich on like mm. a nice plate and, and fork and knife. Uh, great. Uh, who 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 else wants to share their lunch? Their uh, characters' lunch. I'm eating a lunchable. <laughs> okay, got some lunchables. Okay, <laughs> sweet. Straight into the point. Yeah, it's great. Um, uh, Mana, Mana has two different sandwiches and a small salad. Uh, okay. the, uh, both of the sandwiches are made with a whole wheat bread. There's one that's uh, organic, crunchy peanut butter um, with uh, blueberry preserves. Uh, and uh, the other is a, um, a slow roasted honey ham uh, sandwich with Munster and uh uh, what should I call it? Uh, what do you say? Ar- ar- gu- ar- gu- ar- gu- ar- oh, arugula, 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 yeah. arugula lettuce, arugula, arugula. <laughs> you are arugula. really making me hungry right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she has, that sounds she has really that, good. And they're they're cut into triangles. <laughs> Both are cut into triangles, and then like and then like a, a little a little uh, a little fruit salad. Sweet. That sounds really. In winter, uh, I have yeah. I have a tofu bun mi that I made it myself with home pickled radish daikon mm. and some carrots, and I made it because I do not trust anything that was made in that house that is next to Lillian. Mm. True, true. Um, you know there is a I don't know if it's still there, but when I lived in West Philly. There was a, uh, a Vietnamese spot that served tofu banh mi's, and they tasted exactly like like you wouldn't even know that it was tofu. Like they were incredible. Like they were incredible. And like I'm not one that usually goes out of my way to get like vegetarian or vegan food. Like I'll eat it, but I don't go like out of my way to look for it. I went out of my way to get this joint, and they sold a regular one too, but the tofu one was man, it was so good, so good. So it always. It makes me so sad that people just uh, like 
disrespect tofu and are like, oh, it's so bland. And I'm like, yeah, because you, you have to put seasoning yeah. and flavor oh, on cooking? it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Once you once you put like saucing on it, it is delicious. Like I fry up mine um, on all sides, make sure it's like a nice little golden brown and it's like crisp on the outside. And it's like tender on the inside. Oh. Ooh, all no, of us no. are very I'm, I'm so, so hungry, hungry right now. Sorry. I'm so hungry. Thanks for asking, uh, Noir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for making us all. Yeah. I, I do it to cause pain. <laughs> oh, great. Um, yeah, and and you know, I'll, I'll I'll say when uh, Felix was over, you noticed what he had as well. Um, he had a, uh, a meatball parmesan uh, sandwich, or as we. I think this might be only a Jersey term or a, a grinder. Anybody use that term? No. Grinder sandwich. I, I remember it from living in New York, but I, yeah. I don't think yeah. I ever used it. Yeah, yeah. I it's, that's just like it's, a sub, like of any kind. Is that like a so like sub? sub? Like a hero, so, yeah. A grinder. Yeah, hero. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I usually only hear grinder when it's like a meatball parmesan kind of one. Is, like, oh. is when they call it a grinder for some reason. God, I kind of um, want like, yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> meatball parm now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I haven't had meatball parm in like years. <laughs> so a... like a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 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 he has a, a meatball parm. Doesn't look too great um, because this actually came from the school cafeteria. Uh, Ooh, now like most people bring in their own food mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. their food is not great. Um, but he being the principal was trying to set the example. And so like, you see him, he's like holding it, but you notice no bites have been taken out of it. <laughs> like, so, so like, he's just trying to like say, Hey, like I got, got the school food, but you re- curiously did not see him take one bite out of it <laughs> as he was talking to y'all. So he probably just goes in the corner and tosses it at the end of, and Ooh. like, uh, eats, eats, eats his real food. Uh, mm, so don't blame him. When, when nobody's looking um yeah so uh so the prince pal's gone um i'll say lunch is uh wrapping up um anything y'all want to uh say to to, to each other uh, or do before this tree scene is done hey meadow can you uh do you have any kind of like like a pencil or graphite that you can put over the note that we, sh- the pencil pad that we just got from our principal tea bagging. I do. I sharpened so many pencils today. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes around. <laughs> Pull out all my pencils. I'm like, yeah, I think I, I told him that in order to make pen work he had to press down really hard i don't know if he did but we can definitely try it and we can try and just like um yeah. shade over the post-it very mm-hmm. very carefully to see if i can pick up his um like the imprint of what he wrote mm-hmm. and uh yeah as you shade it on um you are you start to see some numbers start to form um on this sheet um and the code that you see is the following. One, two, three, no. four, five. Those are the numbers that appear on your sheet. Oh, that's genius. Now, no, <laughs> this, no this also means that Noir, when he was, well, sorry, a four, when he was putting in combinations, did not put that one in. Nope. Uh, uh, I was trying to play it in sequence. That's not funky town. <laughs> standing in front of the door. Uh, yeah. So yeah. that's so like that's what you're able to uncover. And yes, this is definitely a Spaceballs reference. I'm not hiding from that. Uh, definitely a Spaceballs <laughs> reference for sure. Uh, uh, that's the code to my luggage. Um, yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, Incredible. so that's so that's what you see. Uh, what do y'all want to do? Like, yeah. so you guys want to skip class and go straight to the bio lab and see what's up? I've never skipped a class before. Oh, I've had to skip class when the spirits tell me to. Oh, that's a good mm. excuse. I like that. I don't generally skip class, but right now I need to know what happened because if that's not Felix, we need to figure something out. 
I also I really need to check on my experiment. Like I really need it's I that I haven't checked on my experiment all day, and I'm a little bit concerned about it now. I just want to know what's in those stalls that they're hiding. It's not a, okay. <laughs> it's just a bad. Okay, then let's head for the bio lab. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Before we go, I'm going to do a protection spell over each of you. Oh. Ooh, can, can you can, can, can you describe the spell for me? How how do you perform? Yeah, well, it? while they're while they're sitting there, um, uh, Mana stands up. She she works with Winter first as she waves her hands over her aura. She's not touching. Uh, over or and she she begins chanting it's like i'm going to strengthen your guardian spirit so that you are more in contact with them for at least the next hour and she she does she does that and she starts moving around um with it and throwing her hands in the air and she's like i call to you above strengthen this child's guardian spirit they need your help. And she, she like <laughs> lays hands on your aura. She's like, ah, you are strengthened. And she does that to, uh, to everyone <laughs> while she's grasping some crystals. Thank you. That was the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. And again, <laughs> I grew up in Orlando. So thank you. We are ready for espionage and battle. Mm, okay. All right, sweet. Um, so uh, lunch is wrapping up. So, um, you know, everyone is going back into the school. Um, so the hallways are flooded with folks. Um, and so if you want to uh, go to the bio lab, it's not like a, you can just walk there, right? I mean, there's people all over the place. There's people at their lockers. There's teachers outside like like the like the 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 security guards outside so if you want to try to go now that'll be like the situation should we should we hide in the bathroom that's uh, across the hall from the bio lab or hear me out we pull the fire alarm and go now we could hide in a closet there's a a maintenance closet there's a maintenance closet uh it'll be pretty tight to fit all y'all in, but I will make you roll to see if you can fit in if you want to try to do that. Do you want, cause, cause you, well, do you want to pull the fire alarm? Cause won't they notice, don't they do like attendance and stuff? They do. So I guess if we're fast. Mm. They'll know it was us though. We'll be the only ones missing. Yeah. Hmm. I just want to pull the alarm and see what happens, but. I guess there is logic to not pulling the alarm. I, I'm, I always support an experiment, but um, I'm just thinking about consequences, you know? Oh, I mean, we were told that anytime we, we consider an experiment that we also have to think about the consequences of the experiment. That's our responsibility as scientists. Oh, that's a lot. And why don't we just go through the door and put it in the coat? <laughs> Everyone will see us go in there. So? And we're not supposed okay. to go in there. Maybe. We're not we'll supposed to know the coat. What if we come after school when everybody's gone and it's just us? And I'll say that, I mean, <laughs> my dad won't care because he's working and Lillian will just. I could just lie and tell whatever. the guard that we got it from the principal and then he'll be all like, oh, yeah, if you got your code from the principal, put the code in. I'll be all like, one, two, three, four. <laughs> What's up, dude? Um, I mean, I we're going in there so I can check on my experiment. Like, it's not like we're doing anything wrong, right? And yeah, we know why so, they put the code, the key code on there, so we can explain it. Which, like, if he's like, the principal didn't, the principal didn't really give you the code, we'd be like, yeah, he did. He told us that the only reason they put the code on in the first place is because of our rivals. And he knows that we're not our rivals, so he gave us right. the codes. So we're safe. We're totally safe and allowed to be in there. You're right. Yeah, party. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're just putting the code in and going in then? Right now? With everybody? Is that, okay. is that what we're doing? I, I, I don't I Four is, is just very convincing. 
I want to do it. <laughs> okay, is is that what everyone? So so is everyone? Does everyone want to do that? Because you can definitely try. Uh, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay. <laughs> and uh, maybe, also. Maybe <laughs> Well, uh, I, I mean, y'all can continue to talk it out. I mean, there's no rush. Uh, I mean, the fire alarm I, is always an option just in case. But, I mean, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, but uh, as you're as, as you're talking um, right now, you're pretty much the only people outside oh. um, because everyone's been going back into the school because lunch is, uh, is uh, wrapping up. And and like you see kind of like Coach D in the like foreground, like, hey, guys, come on. I mean, the period is about to start. You don't want to be late. Oops. Right. Saying it to us? Yes. Yeah. We're the only one not? No. Don't, don't, don't worry, Coach D. <laughs> we're, we're fine and we're heading out. You do your demon things. Uh, Coach D things? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I just don't want you to be late. That's all. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hurry up. Bye. Okay. And he's not moving. He's looking at y'all just kind of standing there uh, um, at I'm the a, door. I will get up and I'm going to confidently walk back in and head in the direction of the bio lab. Okay, okay. I'm going to follow four. He's the one who's made a decision. I feel like we should follow him because left up to his own devices, I think he's just going to get lost in the bathroom. And honestly, <laughs> yeah. if but I also, if he pees in the bio lab, um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in there that would be a big problem. So I would. Oh, complete biological contaminant. In yeah. There. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. In there. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so uh, as you kind of, uh, I'll say, uh, that the bio lab is kind of like around the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, you're like walking through all these uh, s- students. Um, four sees the nerd that he bullied uh, and uh, he kind of, he uh, looks at four, um, starts to laugh. Um, hey, hey, how's it going, buddy? Walk- ah. F5? Yeah. Party. Uh and and uh yeah so uh as you turn the corner you know you mm-hmm. see there's still a bunch of kids in the hall but right in front of the door um you see felix and mary uh just talking you know they're having a conversation in front they're in front of the, the bio lab door they're in front of the bio lab door ah! the actual bio lab door <laughs> <laughs> Not the <bathroom. laughs> So I don't know if maybe four thinks that, uh, you know, maybe four thinks that they're in front of the bathroom door, uh, a coded bathroom door. Donna's going to go for the maintenance closet and is going to, like, try to wave everybody in. Okay. Uh, So remember, there's a lot of people around, so it's not like you are stealthily hiding. Well, you know what? If Are you trying to do it stealthily or just in full view of everybody? Uh. We'll just do it in full view. Okay. <laughs> going, sure. going in there for for something. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, so like some people, like they look at you, but they just assume you're doing something, some weird thing, and they kind of don't really pay you any mind. Um, does Does anyone follow Mana into the? Uh, s- seeing Mary and Felix. Uh, Force gonna go more mission and then like immediately <laughs> go into the closet. <laughs> uh, inter- I get um, this is everyone's just looking at us. I, you know what we could also do, and this happened one time, so I know it's very very successful. Um, if you have a lighter, we can just hold it up and we can get the whole sprinkler <laughs> system going, or we can set something on fire. Any thought on this plan? I do have a lighter and paper, however. Both of us are kind of short to hold up um, a lighter to uh, a sprinkler head. And in the, this crowded hallway, it, literally everyone will see us. Um, so again, I a- approve of scientific experimentation and I support you. However, those would be the consequences of those actions, which we are also responsible for. Love it. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> for the first time. Okay, so Mana and Four are in this closet. Anyone else going in? I think we have to go in the closet. We're not going to fit in the closet. 
Well, I will. Y'all can try to fit, but you will definitely be rolling to see if you can fit. Why is four so big? This is not a big. This is like work out. Yeah, yeah. Like this is like think of a maintenance closet. So there's brooms, there's mops, there's buckets, there's all that kind of stuff. Hang on, can you can you get on four shoulders so that you're taking up less floor space? Uh, and and Mana like uh, uh, then starts climbing oh. on the back of the floor. <laughs> ah. This okay. is lightweight. Uh, <laughs> all right, I want so uh, if so, so I'll say this: if you want to try to figure out like a Tetris way to fit in here, then you can roll brains. If you're trying to just like push things out of the way to fit in here, th then uh, you can roll a, a brawn. Uh, so I want everyone to roll either a brains or a brawn, like whichever one you feel like you have better luck at. And I'll say that this is a difficulty of eight for uh, whichever one that you roll. <laughs> Bad news is I'm my, my brawn failed. Uh, good news is I got an adversity play. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got an adversity yeah. I rolled a my, three. my brains failed, but I got an adversity point. Uh, also, my brawn failed, so I wow. also have an adversity. So no one passed. Okay, so <laughs> so so Mana tries to crawl on the four. Actually, you know what? Why don't y'all tell me how this hilariously uh, fails, and I will say it has to end up with you all spilling out of the closet and falling on the ground. Who, who wants to describe how this happens? Um... I think when Mana starts to climb uh, on on um, uh, four shoulders, his knees start bu starts to buckle. <laughs> but he's trying to play it off like I can do this. You know, this is <laughs> this is what all those squats were for. Yeah, and this, this will make sense. Look at all this empty space where our heads are. I will exist in this space. Oh, yep. <laughs> he's like slowly sinking. <laughs> 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 okay. And um, I see like some more like I'm like just like trying to like visualize my own body in in the space as well. So I try and like crawl in between Four's legs, um, to like get through to like the back of the closet. And I imagine that as he's sinking, I like miss and I trip him as I like <laughs> try to dive in between his legs. Fantastic. Um, uh, I try just like to snake my way in there and whatever opportunity, but then I am directly under Four's armpit the entire time. <laughs> and so when he slips, we all go down. <laughs> it's right. just so it's just the slowest and quietest. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. So yeah, yeah, like y'all, yeah, yeah, like y'all fall out like a awkward totem pole. Uh, you fall onto the ground along with a mop, uh, very loudly. Everyone turns around and starts laughing at you. Um, mm. so this is like one of those, like, you know, TV moments where everyone turns around and starts laughing. Um, this is in full view of, uh, well, is the maintenance closet, is it in view of the bio lab or is it like sort of like not? I thought it was around the nearest corner. So out of yeah, eye it was around the, corner. around the corner. Okay. All right. So, so then uh, Felix and Mary have not seen you, but they do hear that there's some kind of commotion. Um, so they do like walk uh, 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 around the corner. They see y'all all splayed in various, <laughs> in a various things. There's a uh, mop water uh, <laughs> spreading out. Um, out of the thing because a bucket like fell over, um, and um. there's a mop, and 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 uh, so so a Felix he uh, comes around, um, <clears throat> looks pretty embarrassed, and he's like, "Oh, Mary, uh, you know this is just something we do at the school. You know, we just like to you know like during lunch, like kids kids like they tend to you know get a little low and tired, so we try to do like a scheduled prank." You know, and everyone starts laughing, it boosts their uh, levels, and then we can have classes. So don't worry, this is just a planned thing. Like, it's totally tentacle. Mm, yay, more trauma for therapy. Okay. Wow. Uh, and, 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 uh, and, um, Mary says, 
Okay, interesting. Um, not traditional. Uh, interesting. But if this is scheduled, then uh, I'll I'll make sure to come this time tomorrow and see what you have planned then. I'm kind of interested in creative uh, maneuvers, so um, not bad, not bad. And I'm actually going to have Felix uh, roll. I'm going to roll for uh, Felix here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to roll a charm for him. I'm sorry, but uh, you just told Ford that it's okay to have a scheduled prank. <laughs> and he's Uh-oh. too dumb to realize this is a lie. So he's just uh-huh. like, my time is come. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. oh dear. Yeah. So what? Oh boy. So I will uh, tell 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 yeah. So I did not bill out bill out a sheet for Felix, but I'll say not really a charming guy. Uh, so I'll say he has a D four in charm. Oh, buddy. What, di- what difficulty do you think should be for him to deceive Mary? Uh, <laughs> God, I think this is a six. <laughs> yes, some okay. higher than a four. Okay, so, yeah. so, like, so like he has to like explode at least once. He got to right. explode. Let's well, see. Yeah. Can, and he, I think he has at least two adversity tokens. I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, can yeah, I he, give up give up an adversity token to try and I help mean, him? If you're feeling generous, you could you could help him out a bit yeah. by like. Jumping in with an explanation. So, yeah, yeah me, I will. Uh, he's, I will definitely jump in with an explanation. Yeah, uh, I, I, I will roll for him first. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. oh, whoops. I rolled a bunch of times. Sorry about that. Um, so, I don't know why the that. Last one. We'll take the, the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I will take the last one. Yes. So he did roll a four. So he did explode on that. I don't know why my rolling is so like delayed. It's like, it super just got delayed, a though. six. He got um, a six. He, so he got, got a six. six. He exploded, so he got a six. He, he got a six. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So uh, oh, he's he is he is definitely sweating. But not only does Mary seem like she buys it, the other students kind of pick up what he's trying to do, and they don't like Ooh. you know kind of call him out for you know trying to save his butt or something like that. So. Everything looks like it's on the up and up. Like uh, she believes Ooh. that this is a, you know, a, uh, a thing. <laughs> a thing. So mm-hmm. as as a yaller, lay down on the ground. Do you do you say anything to Felix or Mary, or do you just kind of sit there? I would uh, like them to just pass me by without really realizing it's me. <laughs> uh, oh, are you are you trying to like hide like 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 you trying to like cover <laughs> your face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are ch- ch- trying to cover your face. Uh, any, anyone else trying to do anything? Four's gonna get uh, up. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna. I was gonna get up and I was gonna say, "What a great prank, everyone! This is an exceptional prank. There has never been a prank as exceptional as this one. We have gone out of our bounds just to make another prank." And I look at Felix, and my eyes say, "You owe me." <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Mana's like openly staring at Mary and is slowly reaching for her salt. <laughs> yes, yes, Ooh, incredible. Mary is returning your stare. Um, she's, <laughs> she's returning your stare for sure. Um, so, 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 like y'all kind of lock eyes, um, and uh, I don't think anyone else would really notice that. Um, so I'm not going to have a roll. I'll just say that like no one else really picks that up, but you are having a bit of a stare off with, uh, with, uh, Mary Felix does notice though. And he says, okay, great. Um, how about I, I mean, Mary, we, we were going over to the bio lab. Why don't we head back over now that our s- schedule is done? Hey, then, like, uh, same time tomorrow for the prank, right? Uh, we do uh, it yeah. the same time every- uh, <laughs> uh, uh, of course, uh, this is the same time we do all the time. So yeah, um, and then he walks away with Mary. But wait, 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 as... wait! wait. So... <laughs> He's just gonna go. But, but before you leave, like, uh, I need to talk to you about the pranking for tomorrow. So how long are you gonna be in the bio lab, dude? Uh, you know, I'll be sh- I'll be showing Mary our like our new experiments, and you know, just showing her what all the investment that. That, that they've made into into the school is uh, worth it. 
Yeah, so I'll, I mean, I'm guessing you'll be there for like an hour, and then I can come meet you uh, by your office or whatever. I something like that. I mean, you, you actually you can check in with with uh, with uh, my assistant uh, Mark, and uh, he'll be able to. I don't know what, what my schedule is. I have something, but you know, you you can just like get in on my calendar. All right, I guess so. yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. Party. All right. So he walks away. Mary is still there, and she is still uh, staring at Mana, um, and she extends that stare to all of you, and she says, "Have a good day." And then she. You uh, have a good day. Ooh, and then she looks at you, and she kind of leans in. Um, pretty close. Um, and she says, uh, wow, <laughs> Kayla, you are creeping me out. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, you, like I know I'm just like the girl from. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, you definitely what, what, have. What's her name? Samara. Like, you are, you are like a Korean <laughs> horror movie right now. Like, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, so, so yeah, she, she, uh, leans in and. As she leans in, you see a little bit of a twinkle um, on her face. Um, so when you first threw the salt on her, uh, you know, you saw pieces of her become translucent where the salt hit and there was like a little bit of a twinkle. As she leans in, she kind of turns her head toward you and you see this little twinkle. Uh, and then she leans back uh, and begins to walk away. better walk away <laughs> nice uh yeah so uh she walks away um so y'all are on the ground uh what do you do now you can go to class you can follow them to the lab you can uh you know students are like starting to go to their classes now so it's not as packed um as before mark that was his name oh god i'm never gonna remember this <laughs> So, uh, what say we come back 5 p.m.? Everybody's gone. We sneak in. Maybe, I don't know, put a dead rat in Felix's, uh, you know, office. Uh, thoughts? Do you have a what? dead rat? Yeah, of course. Do you not find them in the park? <laughs> oh. Hey. I just don't keep... Okay. <laughs> hey, don't forget, we found the easiest way to cut class ever. Oh, right. The dimensional trigger. I'm not sure I want to be in there. But what if it's a tentacle lab in the tentacle dimension? You just jump out Again, like how committed are we to the name of, of tentacle dimension? Just <laughs> I love how Winter hates, Winter really hates this, this reference. Because we could call it so many things. You know, we don't, we don't have to stick to that, that one name just because, I mean, there's, there's, yeah. Just keep it on mind, I'm just saying. I, I like Winter's idea of us coming back when school's over and then we'll try out the bio lab and the creepy tentacle dimension. Okay. Sure. So we just we just go to class like like nothing's happening and, and just go to school. We just we just do that. We just we're just supposed to pretend that our understanding of the universe is not dramatically changed in the last however i have no concept of time anymore it is this is like the afternoon of the same day like this is all been, yeah yeah uh, Ma mana goes over to meadow and uh gives her uh a yellow mookite stone which is a very comforting crystal uh she puts that in her hand you can borrow this for the uh the afternoon uh it it, it will be a comfort to you and also, you know, like, don't lose it because um, it, it took me a while to get this mail order. Um, so, but yeah, just go ahead and, and have this with you and you will be fine. Okay. I have some Xanax too, in case you want a non-crystal <laughs> option, but you know, do as you do. I might try okay. the crystal option first. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so yeah, everyone... Clear head science. Okay. Yeah. So is everyone doing their normal afternoon classes? Everything? I guess. You don't have to. You, you, y'all can do whatever you want. No, I you super, we to. super do that, but that's that's the attitude that Meadow yeah, approaches that's the Meadow's rest attitude. of her day. <laughs> I think okay. Mana might try to swing by Home Ec. I think they'd have that, right? Yeah, home Ec to sure. try to, to, try to up, her, up her salt <laughs> that she has with her. But Ooh, I kind of so, I kind of think they might only have the regular salt. I don't know. So are you trying to like go in and take salt, or are you like like, like is that what you mean? Okay, yeah. yeah she um, have home ec. She's just like because that's such a good idea, and I didn't think about home ec. Plus the fact that you know you're uh, young and sneaking into this home ec room is great. Actually, no, I had home ec. Um, how old was I? We had home ec went in like seventh grade, I think. Sixth or seventh grade, we had oh, wow. we we had like home ec and shop class, and it was totally gendered for sure. It was it was like you know like they literally barely had guys in the home ec class and barely had girls in the shop class, which was awful. Um, but uh, we yeah. had like life skills, and so um, you know we had like weird things where they try to teach us stuff that like were completely outdated and useless. But uh, the boys did have to do it. It's just you could pick specific things like boxes so like none of the boys pick sewing or whatever but we all had to take care of like a baby as part of the state's like anti-teen mm. pregnancy thing um oh, was the baby the an egg, egg? where you had what, to take baby an egg? egg oh we didn't have an egg we had like a plastic baby and so you had oh to have it for God. a week yeah it was, was like was it a plastic baby that that like cried and stuff was it like one yes of those? yeah <laughs> and you had to rock it and put the key in the back and like it was it's very weird wow no we, we yeah, so we cool. definitely had the egg, um, yeah. and yeah. I. Uh, one of the few times that young Sharif went to detention is when he threw his he, on a dare, uh, <laughs> on a field trip where we had to carry our eggs. He did throw his egg on a dare. Uh, at a you yeeted car. your baby? What? Uh, <laughs> at another car? Oh, had a passing car. Uh, you know what? And, That's on them. You don't give a bunch of high schoolers eggs and then have them go out into the world with those yeah, eggs. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, so. I had such a sorry, experience. Sorry, young Sharif, but he uh, had, had a tragic end. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, okay. Um, so yeah, so I'll say that, yeah, because you suggested such a great idea, you don't have to roll. You go into the home ec room. There's nobody there. You're, you're able to get as, as much salt as you want, even different kinds of salts, you know, any kind of, you know, the, there's a pink salt. There's a, the, there's like the big tub of Morton's, you know, like a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a sea salt. There's all that kind of stuff that you want is there. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's going to take the full thing of sea salt. <laughs> nice. Awesome. You know, even there's, there's like even like a grinder of salt. So there's like the grinder thing with the little things Ooh. in there. Um, why, why do I not take home ec? This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, anyone else want to do anything separate from normal class stuff? I'm going to cut class. <laughs> okay. And where are you going to go? To the tentacle to <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, tell, tell me how you are going to tell, okay, tell me what you are going to try to do. He's just because, gonna, he's just gonna walk cause, into cause, that classroom. So, so that classroom is full, uh -huh. and there's a class going on. Yep. Uh, so, uh, tell me what you are going to do to try to get in this classroom and then what are you going to do while you're in the classroom? It's just going to open the door and make his okay. way to the sharpener and go, I need to sharpen my pencil, yo. Oh, so before <laughs> that, as you as you open the door, like Miss Jenkins, because mm -hmm. this is her classroom, uh, she turns to you and says, can I help you? I need to sharpen my pencil. Um, In this classroom? Yeah. Well, you're not a part of this class, so I'm sorry. Can I get back to my lesson, please? Thank you. Oh, my teacher told me to come in here and sharpen my pencil here. Um, which teacher? <laughs> That's it. Teacher. <laughs> Smith. 
Smith, 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 what? teacher John Smith. Oh, oh John Smith. Yeah. Yes, I I do remember him from his horribly generic name. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what, man? If you want to do this, you ha- again <laughs> high charm roll. If you want to make this happen. What? Come on, four. So it'll be another 19 charm roll uh, to make this happen. (laughs) (laughs) I wrote a a three. I wrote a three. That's not happening. I don't think you have 16 university tokens. I do Uh, not. I absolutely uh, do not. Oh. So, so yeah, she. Don't you roll a d20 for a charm? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So she looks at you, um, she walks up to the door and like I says, don't interrupt me again and closes the door in your face. Not party. And I wanted that for you. <laughs> but but as you're in there though, for the brief amount of time when you open the door, you see that the pencil sharpener is there. Mm-hmm. Um, you see that it is uh you notice that it is uh, um, hanging straight, right? So it looks like it's straight, which, mm-hmm. as you recall, um, is the way that it would be when everything when everything's normal. Yeah. Um, okay. So you, so you do pick that up. Um, does it still have the the broken sign on it? Do not use. Uh, it does have a broken sign on it. Yes, it, it, <laughs> it does have the sign that uh, that you put on there. Yes, uh, which is awesome. Um, yeah. So. What do you want to do now? You can try. You can try again. You can do whatever you want. So uh, four I think, want to try I, anything else? I I think the one thing that I'm learning about four, uh, and I hope at some point this becomes a good character trait, but right now it's not. Uh, he doesn't take failure well, so he's just gonna open the door again. <laughs> okay. You're gonna open. Op- open the door again and, <laughs> and like now now Miss Jenkins is like stop interrupting my class I'm calling the principal and she wait, goes wait, over wait. to her desk I, and there's, I just need there's to like sharpen a little, my pencil as what? you're saying that she's walking over to her desk uh, there is essentially a uh she doesn't p- pick up the phone. Though. There's kind of like a like a button, kind of like uh, under the desk that you see her reach, and she presses. Uh, uh, and 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 like she basically says, "Please leave now. I feel threatened. Please leave." Whoa! 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 And you hear some footsteps. And it's that same security guard that uh, you saw in front of the bio lab. Okay. What in uh, tarnation is going on over here? Can he try to make a mad dash for the pencil sharpener? Okay, make him forget. Make him forget. You can. Yeah. You, he's you he's can just going to go. Dash. <laughs> um, I will say that uh, as you dash there, um, the security guard is, uh, is in the room. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is dashing behind you. Oh. Um, so tell me what you want to do as he is dashing I'm gonna, behind you. You know, you know, another thing occurred to me is uh, Ford never was the one to actually use the pencil sharpener, so he's going to get to it, not exactly know what to do with it, and just kind of try to shift it. Shift it <laughs> like... Oh my like God. It's straight it right now. It like, he's going to yeah. try it like unstraighten it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and and like you can kind of see some markings on the wall mm-hmm. that kind of give you a clue as to where it originally was mm-hmm. when uh, when uh, Mana f- first first I saw it. Um, you get your hand on the sharpener. Um, the security guard is caught up to you, and he is sort of trying to pull you away from the uh, sharpener. <laughs> and, and you hear him say like, "No." Don't break the chain. And uh, as you adjust the sharpener, uh, everyone in the room disappears. And it is just you in this room. Party! <laughs> like he just yells. Buddy. 
Now I'm gonna make my way to the bio lab if I can remember how to get there. But that's it. Okay. That's all he's doing. Um Okay, so yeah, so uh you're gonna exit the room. Uh mm-hmm. it's gonna look pretty much like you remember. Um things are a little bit darker though. Like it seems like there's a bit of like a hue um on things. Like it seems like things are a little bit darker. Um and so so like remember I mentioned that the bio lab is like around the corner, right? Mm-hmm. So you go down the hallway, you turn the corner, and man, it looks like the same hallway you just came from. Um, yeah, before before he does that, the, the last thing that I, uh, I'll have him do before he does the ultimate dumb decision is uh, go to another classroom and see if he can adjust a physics sharpener there to return. Okay, sure. Um, you don't see any pencil sharpeners in any of the classrooms. And you know for a fact that all the classrooms have them, uh, you know, normally. But you don't see any right now. Yeah, he's scared now. Uh, yeah, he, he's just gonna go back. Yeah, he, he he that that officially scared him seeing no other physics sharpeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's just gonna go back. Hopefully, the heat so, dies down by the time he gets there. So so like uh, you're gonna go back and re-straighten the pencil sharpener yeah. in the Jenkins room. Mm-hmm. Okay, as you straighten it back, um, you are being pulled away uh, ah! by <laughs> by the uh, security guard. Uh, make a. Uh, Make a uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Make make a flight roll. Oh, okay. Yeah, flight. Here we go. I rolled a four. Okay, not good enough. Nope. Uh, <laughs> you are subdued by the security guard, um, and he uh, says, "I don't know what's gotten into you, but uh, I can't have you." Disrupting, and then he uh, looks up and says, "Good old Miss Jenkins." And this voice kind of changes when he says that; it kind of oh. fills up a bit. Um, and 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 and, and Miss Jenkins says, "Well, thank you, Charles." Oh, that's so nice! You guys are friends. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, he uh, um, walks you out of the classroom. All right, all right. That's, Assuming that's, you're not resisting, I'm you not resisting. Try if you want, but no. you're, that's yes. the bravest thing you've ever done. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so he walks you out of the uh, of of the classroom, um, and he walks you back to the classroom that you are supposed to be in. Um, so, okay. Anyone want anything else? Anyone does different from their normal routine? Nope. Okay. Great. Save it yeah, so, um, for later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so we get to the end of the day, right? Um, so you hear the the uh, final bell, um, and you know, school is over. Um, so I'll say that you know, uh, y'all all well, do like y'all want to exit the building, um, and plan for this five o'clock thing, or like how. How do you want to handle this at the end of the school day when, like, again, like the, uh, you know, the halls are flooded with kids and teachers all leaving and that kind of stuff? Is there a place, like, in, like, the hubbub that I can kind of hunker down in and wait for people to kind of clear out? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you can, like, just wait by a locker or wait by a, you know, like, yeah, if you're standing basically anywhere, it's not really going to look strange because there's people all over the place. You can post up like anywhere you want. Yeah, I just kind of want to like try and blend in and like, but I'm thinking even like when when school is like closed, closed because like at five o'clock, I imagine like doors would be locked and stuff. Yes. Yeah, so so school ends at about uh, three fifteen. Um, so it's around uh, that time. So you, so you wouldn't be able to like wait here until five o'clock. Like eventually they would tell you to leave the building, you know, because they got to lock it up and stuff. So, so, um, you can wait, but, it, but you wouldn't be able to just wait till five. You know what I mean? 
can I try and hide somewhere in the school? You could. Yeah. Where, um, where, where, where do you want to try to hide? I kind of want to go back to that closet. But like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and like you're doing this on your own, right? So like you're not waiting for the rest of the Yeah, I think I'll like, I'll like take my, I'll take some more post-it notes and I'll like make little, I'll like write little notes to the rest of the group and like casually just like pop okay. them in their lockers and then like make my way back to the. Okay. You're well, trying to stealthily get get in here because there's people. Are, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, I feel like nobody pays really attention to me that much. It'll be fine. Oh, uh, I will make you roll though because you are just jumping into a closet. Uh, you know, uh, that is something that would raise some suspicion. Um, so why don't you roll a flight as well to see if you could dip in there really fast and sort of evade people's thoughts. Or not thoughts. The four. Oh yeah, four is not good enough. So I'll say you can either decide not to do it, or you can do it and people would notice. So what? Is one it do you stu- want? Is it just students? Just students. I'll mm-hmm. just be like. Pss, pss, pss. Okay. <laughs> this All is right. for an experiment. So, <laughs> so so like you're you're in the closet, uh, and there's some uh, students that uh, saw you, but no uh, no teachers or. Or uh, no, uh, no, uh, Charles either. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah. So I'll uh, and just here. in case somebody comes in there looking for stuff, I might try and like conceal myself somehow and just, like, <laughs> in the back corner. And just get in the back I corner and kind of sit down. You're gonna scare the poor janitor. You're gonna like jump out of. The, he's just going in for his mop, and you're just like ah. Oh. Um, here. <laughs> great. Um. Uh. So. As y'all get these, I'm assuming you like everyone else, you get, get these notes, you know, and that stuff um, about where metal is. So you can either choose to try to fit in this closet again, oh uh, <laughs> or you can like, you know, try, try some other way to either leave or come back or hide somewhere else. Um, so. Halfway through her last class, um, Mana was like, I... My spirits tell me that I require to go to the school nurse. There is something that is coming and I need to be there and not here. Otherwise it will wind up on your floor. And then mm. picks up her picks up her bags and stuff. Mm. Uh, leaves. She goes to her locker, takes the padlock off and then just goes into her locker and closes the door to win. <laughs> Incredible. Sweet. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say that really raises people's attention because they're like, you know, you're just getting something deep out of your locker or something, you know? Um, so yeah, you are in your locker. Awesome. Uh, what does winter do? Uh, I get the note, I read it and I'm like amateur and I (laughs) go to Felix's office, say hi to Mark and say, Hey, uh, hey. Felix, um, hey. I am actually going over to um, a friend's for dinner, so you'll have to sup at the manor with the rest of the Von T. Bergens by yourself tonight. Will you let my dad know? Oh, of, of course. This is like one of the best days of my life. Like you asked how I was doing. Like you're you're like, like I feel like we're really connecting today. This is the best day of your life because that is tragic, and I want you to know that. And then he like kind of like thinks for a minute, and you see him kind of like, you know, counting things on his fingers. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'd say this is probably the best day of my life." Thank you, Winter. <sighs> I don't have the time for this. Okay, so um, I'll be back later in the house. Um, you know, nobody needs to to stay up or anything like that, and um, try. Not to to die. Uh, sure. Tend to go on. Um, oh God, I regret this so much. And I, <laughs> you did this. Um, <laughs> I did. Yeah, and uh, four. What do you? What do you do at the end of the day? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So I'll say that the gym is open late because people like, you know, they're practicing stuff. So, I was, I was muted there. I, Forrest just going to go to the no, no, gym. No, we, 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 I heard you. We heard you. Well, okay. Uh, were you muted on um, stream? I was muted on stream. So I fixed that. Yeah. You ran on stream. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no, you, 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 I cannot repeat what you said. Then. Yeah. I was just like, uh, he, he, uh, he works out after school. So he'll be in the gym doing his after after class uh, ritual. Now I will say because people have sports and stuff, you could stay into the gym until five, and it wouldn't look weird because there's people you know in there working out, like there's teachers working out, there's you know all the athletes and stuff. So yeah, all right. So I think this is a good place to end. Um, all right. Unfortunately, I don't think we really have time for questions. I went a little long. Sorry, y'all. I probably should have cut, but, <laughs> but like we were so in it. We were in it. Um, that, like, I did want to I like, did want to at least wrap up um, the day of school. So maybe if there's one quick question uh, in the chat, we can answer. But as those are going around, um, let's actually start our outro so we can make sure we're done on time. So uh, cool, cool, cool. let's start with Chu, who is muted. I am muted. Hi, everyone. Still, <laughs> still Shu, still winter. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at hello there, Shu. Awesome. Uh, Kaylee. Hey, everybody. I'm Kaylee Bray. I have been your uh, Meadow McKinley the Scout today. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hop of Barbarian. I am live on Pixel Circus twice a week on uh, Fridays at 6 p.m. for Failed Save and Saturdays at 6 p.m. Pacific. For Damsel's Dice and Everything Nice, our Disney Princess D&D show. Let's come check us out. Say hi. Nice. Uh, Marquia. Hey. So uh, I'm Marquia. Today I was uh, Mana uh, Pepperwood. So you can find <laughs> me on Twitter and Instagram at Marquia McCarty. On, um, on Twitch, it's Darth Marquia. Facebook, it's Marquia TV. And tomorrow night, you can join me. Well, tomorrow, 6 p.m. PT, whatever your time zone is. Uh, you can join me on uh, Hunter's Entertainment Twitch. Uh, we'll be doing Outbreak Undead Rag and Bone, where I am a stealthy rogue character uh, who's a little bit of a backstabber and is hopefully going to be able to exercise that uh, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a zombie survival horror where the zombie apocalypse happened in 1995 and the year is 2021. So wow. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really great with some really great cast. Uh, and also our GM is, uh, you can see Scabby Rooster in uh, it right now. Uh, our GM is Knox Weiler Birth. So it's like, yeah, go see how he tries to kill us every week. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, Noir. Yeah, okay, just making sure I'm not muted again. Hey, everybody, I'm Noir. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram as the Noir Enigma. You can find me on TikTok by dropping the the. Um, tomorrow, you can find me over on LFM Network where I am playing Call of Cthulhu with the puppet team from Perception Studios. That's a good time. Uh, also, I will be over uh, at Gen Con for the uh, Gen Con Spring Showcase. Uh, that'll be pretty, pretty fun. Uh, and that's me. You can find my schedule on my pin tweet on Twitter. Okay. Awesome. Uh, and I'm sure you've been your DM, GM, GM, general thing, uh, game thing. Uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, find me at SharifJackson.com, S H A R E E F Jackson.com. Or Sharif Jackson at all social networks. Um, Sunday mornings at noon central, you can find me on Rivals of Waterdeep. Um, we're in season nine, just finished episode four. We fought a big troll that destroyed our carriage, which was pretty fun. Um, so make sure to ch check us out there every, every Sunday or on the YouTubes. And there's also a audio podcast as well, which you can search all your feeds for that. Um, on Tuesday mornings, uh, I do a, vi a, a video game stream uh, at twitch.tv slash rivals of water deep uh currently playing through spirit fair um up upgraded the boat uh got got some new <laughs> friends on the boat uh you know built built, built a workshop upgraded the kitchen you know some fun stuff there uh yeah so uh gr great game um and then on thursday mornings at 10 a.m i'm here at twitch.tv slash roll 20 app i'm doing the gm prep uh stuff for 
kids kids on bikes. So so I worked through some uh, names and maps and all that great stuff there as well. So uh, make sure to check us out there. As, as, as I said before, there are, there won't be any uh, story spoilers or anything. So anybody can hop in, even if you are not caught up uh, with the show or if you are on the show. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, uh, so I'll give a couple minutes and see if there's any question. Any quick question in the chat? Um, if not, we will uh, uh, depart a little, a uh, couple minutes early. But uh, thank y'all for the shout out on Rivals of Order. Thank y'all. It's, it's a fun show. And, uh, I love it. Yes. I love Rivals. Yeah. So good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do have one last thing to add. Uh, just yeah, what's up? No matter what you call it, a grinder, a hoagie, or whatever, the best meatball parmesan in Chicago is from a store called Nona's. They do delivery. It is one of the best sandwiches i am lactose intolerant and i'm telling you right now it is worth the pain oh Ooh. that's a lot yeah that's a lot that that's, that there's no lot no lie detected can't confirm it's <laughs> so good oh uh, so uh, there's got, one now i'm gonna have to make a meatball parmesan sub somehow yeah it's good gotta get yeah. meatballs delivered or i mean like, <laughs> i guess meat and then i make the meatballs <laughs> Yes. So there's one question uh, is, and I guess any character can answer this. Who do you think is in on the conspiracy? Uh, Coach D definitely. One hundred percent. Coach D definitely. Um, not Felix. There's a I conspiracy. Not. Definitely not. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously Mary, but. Yeah, I mean, Miss Jenkins, I feel like she'd have to know. It's her classroom. It's her classroom. Like, I straight up know. disappeared. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, um, when you reappeared, it was in the exact same moment. Oh, that's right. So, like, he was mm. dragging you off. And you, so, you didn't oh. do anything. She just saw you reach for the that's, sharpener like that's a weirdo. That's wild. That's yeah, wild. So, we're yes. learning stuff. We're learning. Sorry, sorry. I, sh I, sh I, sh I should have made that a little clearer. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. Ways. You're good. Like, yes, force no, too you... dumb to notice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, you you, you have reappeared in the exact same moment. You just look like you ran in, reached for the sharpener, and got tackled by the security guard. <laughs> that's, that's what it looked like to you and the rest of Ms. Jenkins' class who were just like, well, that's four being four. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I can't wait to make this security guard like the Joker to my Batman. <laughs> like... Oh, Charles definitely, he just definitely uh, <laughs> has it out for you now. Um, I wonder if there's some sort of brainwashing or mind wiping element to it for Felix to be so normal after right. he's trying to warn us. Maybe he's playing, maybe he's uh, playing y'all. Uh, you don't know. I mean, could be a lot of he's, things here. Um, he's a simple man. I don't know. He's a simple man, um, but you, know, <laughs> you, you never know. Um, all right. So, uh, I, I guess really, really uh, quickly, uh, uh, Kaylee, best cereal to have with OJ. Do you have a favorite? Uh, growing up, I either had just like straight up Cheerios or I'd eat Golden Grams with orange juice. Ooh, Golden Grams. Or Fruit oh. Loops. Okay, sweet. All right, y'all. We are out. Um, have a great I'm so rest. I'm sorry, everybody. Of... <laughs> yes, that's a great way to end it. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Uh, I'm have, sorry. have a uh, great rest of your week, um, and we will see y'all next Monday in Techburg. Peace out, y'all.